Boca Cave, what is going on? This is the first edition Team Rocket booster back <laughs> booster box all the way back from the year 2000. We're going to jump right into this thing in front of me. Here it is from the Wizard of the Coast era. Inside of here can contain the Dark Charizard in PSA 10 going for over six thousand dollars we also have the dark blastoise which is well over four thousand the dark dragonite etc first edition stamp here on this side guys this box is over 20 years old and we're gonna jump right into it right here right now in the cave so let's get it going hopefully you guys are all excited make sure you guys smash the like button if you are ready for this to get going all right let's go let's go let's go let's go poke cave poke cave are you ready for this are you ready for this? Giovanni in Persian. Boom. There it is. Pop the top. And we have the beautiful first edition stamps here on the side. This is all the artworks on one pack. Then we have the Jesse and James artwork as well. We got the Giovanni pack artworks. And then we have the Gyarados pack artwork. All four of these Coming out of this box. We're going to get the packs out. We're going to mix them up. And we're going to get ready. But let me know what your packs that you're looking forward to. Um, I'm sorry. What cards you're looking forward to get opened up in here. Out of this booster box. Of course, you can pull the Alakazam. You can pull the Blastoise. The Charizard. The Dragonite. The Gyarados. Um, Dark Machamp is awesome. There is a ton more. Dark Raichu. Seeker Rare as well. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to mix these all up. Very gently here. Like we always do in the cave, and then we're going to jump right into it. That was my second intro. That was my second intro. I started cutting into that box, and apparently we lagged out for like two minutes straight in the beginning, which has never happened before. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to jump into this. Give me a good mix of -ski. How's everybody doing tonight or today, wherever you are in the world? Uh, Potato Lord says this is going to be awesome. Yo, welcome to the Poker Cave. Uh, uh, Poppy as well. What's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Let's go. We got Ro in the house. We got Ryan. We got Space Ghost. All right. I think we're good. What do you guys think? I think that's a good mix-up. All right. So we're going to start putting these back into here. There's 36 packs in this box. Again, if you guys don't know, this is all the way back from the year 2000. Uh, the set is 20 years old. It's actually going to be over 20 years old soon. So we're going to put these back in. And, of course, the cool thing about Rocket is... It takes all the Pokemon and it, it kind of turns them into like menacing type Pokemon. It's got the entire rocket theme to it. So some really cool artworks from back in the day. One of the first sets that Wizard of the Coast produced uh, for Pokemon here. And we are just about ready to go. And here it is. All right. 36 packs getting opened up here in the cave. Again, if you guys are excited, make sure you smash that like button. Sit back, relax, and let's get it going. We're going to start off with our first person tonight. We have Oliver H. With one pack, $62.99. Let's see what we get out of our first pack. We got Musa in the house. What's going on? Caesar! Yo, what is going on? All right. You guys are ready. 11 additional game cards. First, it's a stamp on the bottom. There we go. The Giovanni pack artwork. The curved Wizards of the Coast logo is on the back. Team Rocket is on the loose. We're jumping into it. Can we get the first pack magic in the cave? Many, many big hitters are in this set. A massive list. We got all pricing data, all population of these cards, courtesy of one of our mods here, Julian. So huge shout out to Julian for taking the time to do all this. It's going to make this opening that much better. So uh, shout out to you for that, Julian. As always, truly appreciate the support from everybody here. First pack, starting with Oliver. So we're doing three cards from the back. We're going to start off with our first three uncommon cards. We got the Dark Kadabra, first edition stamp, and even the non hollows have a lot of value in PSA 10 condition. So if this card will come back into PSA 10, uh, guys, the one literally just sold. You can look this up yesterday. This card just sold for $183 in a PSA 10. This was the first card out of the pack. Centering is looking pretty good. Next card is a Dark Machoke. The second uncommon in this car, uh, in this set. Again, you can tell it's a first edition because of the first edition stamp there. You can tell it's the Rocket set because it has the R symbol on the side there. This card, number 40, Dark Machoke just sold for $150 in a PSA 10 yesterday as well. We're only in the non hollows right now. Digger. This is a trainer card. I'm going to go through some of the prices on the first couple packs so you guys can get an idea of like the value that you can get out of this stuff. Uh, but the Digger is number 75 and 
This is so cool. Again, Julian, dude, like everybody chat, if you could just thank Julian for a minute because this is serious. Like we have prices on literally every card here um, gump coming from Julian, which we usually don't have because it takes a lot. This is a lot of work. So I, again, I appreciate it, Julian. Uh, but Digger, $100 just sold yesterday as well on PWCC. Moving in, Dratini, really nice common kit. Uh, hit number 53. We got that card in a 10 at $177 just yesterday as well. So again, if you get like... We look in the front here. One of the first things you want to look at is the centering for grading condition. Drowsy, not the most popular Pokemon. Number 54. Um, that one sold a, over $100 as well. Crazy. Crazy cool to see all this data. This is real-time data. All this stuff, most of these are from PWCC uh, literally just the other day. 64 Ponyta sold for $100 as well the other day in a PSA 10. Got a Rattata. Number 66. It's just a rat attack, but it sold for seventy dollars uh, earlier this month in, from PWCC. Coughing, number fifty-eight. Uh, we got this one at over a hundred dollars as well. Craziness. Of course, this is all if it were to get a PSA ten. Non hollows from a pack are not that difficult to grade in a ten, though. Meowth, number sixty-two. Uh, that one went for one hundred and forty-seven dollars yesterday as well on a PSA ten on PWCC and our final card. After this one, it's going to be, we got 78, uh, Goop Gas, $121 yesterday in a 10. And, can we start off with a hollow, dare I say a Charizard? Oh, okay, Rocket Sneak Attack. This is a non-hollow, number 72. Um, you can get this one in a hollow, though. But this one in the non-hollow sold for $102 yesterday on PWCC in a PSA 10. And the good thing... If you look at this card, you can see the centering is very, very good. That is for sure within PSA 10 parameters. You check the back out on these cards as well, and it looks good. What do you guys think? Looks really good. I know they're not hollows, but again, just from the value that you can get out of grading these, that's why I always say grade all of your cards <laughs> that you pull out if you're in um, these openings with the Wizard of the Coast boxes, especially, especially. But I'm going to sleeve all these up, and then we're going to move on to the next person, and let's go. Let's go, let's go. We got, um, I just want to say what's up to, uh, we got, yo, Deep Pocket Monster, aka Pat Flynn in the house. What's going on, dude? Hyped. Good luck to everyone who got a pack. Loving the Pokemon community. Yo, Deep Pocket Monster, cannot wait for your next video to drop, dude. Love having you here. Uh, and let's go. All right. Throw these in the sleeve. I like... I really like the Kadabra as well. All right. So. We're sleeved up and we're ready to go on to our next pack here. Again, there was no hollow, but the cool thing about a lot of these earlier sets uh, is you get a lot of value if you could pull cards in PSA 10, even if they are not hollows, which is really cool. That's what you want to see in a market uh, and things like this with collectibles. People that you're able to appreciate not only just the hollows, because back in the day, we go back like, you know, even just three years ago, four or five years ago, not that many people really appreciated the non-hollow artworks as much as they do now, which is cool to see. Kevin C, you are up 4,300 with two of each pack. All right, Kevin is going in. We got the Gyarados, and we've got the Giovanni two-pack artworks. Ready to rock and roll. All right, let's do it. We'll start off with Giovanni. Kevin, best of luck on your two packs here. Take a quick sip for good luck. All right. Poke Cave. Giovanni pack artwork. Kevin. Let's see if we can get some first pack magic. I can do the prices on some more of these packs if you guys want me to. Um, let me do the pack trick. Um, I know it slows down the opening, but it, it, I feel like it's good information. So maybe I'll do it. On some of the packs. I'll, I'll do it on this one too. Uh, we got a challenge. So this is an uncommon card. Number 74. You got Machamp in there. Hitmon Lee. Snorlax Arbuck. Victory Bell. Muck. And this one. Also just sold the other day. For $181 in a PSA 10. Just for this one card. Um, we got a Dark Muck. Also an uncommon. So you get three in a pack. Number 41. This is so cool to have this information right here. Uh, $104 yesterday. PWCC. And a Dark Flare on this one's for sure a big hitter. Number 35. And that one for $276 just yesterday on PWCC in a 10. 
PWCC, for those of you who know, is an auction, uh, one of the biggest ones for trading cards on eBay. And that's awesome to see that you're getting value out of a lot, like all these non hollows as well. We got a Psyduck OG artwork from uh, Rocket number 65. $165 early this month in a PSA 10. Psyduck's another popular Pokemon. Uh, you got Ekans, not the most popular, number 56. This one's only about $52 in a 10, but I mean, $52 is it's pretty good still for really any card in here. Uh, we got the Mankey as well, number 61, $125 a couple weeks ago, PWCC. We got a Machop, number 59, uh, $90 in a 10. And yeah, guys, let me know again if you um, are into me selling, telling you guys prices on some of these packs. I can do that again if you guys are into that. It's kind of cool just to see, especially with all this information. Uh, it's super useful. We got a Dark Radicate, number 51, $125 the other day. Slowpoke sleeping in a boat. Number 67. Uh, $76 the other day as well. And our final card. I'm just going to call it. I'm going to call it Dark Charizard. It's not. That, that's not the final. I did that two times in a row now. It feels like it is. But it's not. It's definitely not. Okay, Squirtle though. It's a massive hitter. Number 68. Um. Oh man, is this right? God, dude, this card sold for $440 yesterday on PWCC. Woo! That's nuts! Wow! And in a 9 for $102 earlier this month. Dude, that is wild! So it's like, even if you get a 9 on this, you still have a $100 card. Alright. Squirtle. I mean, it's a great artwork. One of the first Squirtle artworks in the English TCG. I mean, look at that. And our final card. It's cool. I like the background's dark, so it kind of gives that, like, creepy vibe. Like, it's almost like he's, like, at the bottom of the ocean or something or the bottom of a lake. You can even see, like, the outline of some fish back there. That's really cool. All right. I'm calling it Charizard. Oh, dude! We got a hollow hit first back for Kevin crushing it! Man! Dark! Alakazam! A beautiful hollow hit! One of my favorite cards in this set. First edition. Beautifully centered. You got the rocket symbol on the side there. You got a light of beam coming in from the top left going down to the bottom right. An epic artwork for Dark Alakazam. We pulled the Dark Cadaver a little bit earlier today, but already second pack in with a beautiful hollow hit. Got a little tiny dot of whitening on the top there, but that I believe is the only thing that I'm seeing on here. Really clean card. And PSA 10s do not need to be perfect. You can have one or two small, um, minor flaws on the card. Okay, but we do have some print lines, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see a couple. I'm gonna say this will probably be a safe 9. Dark Alakazam, first edition, hollow hit. Man, I even love this card. I, I love this artwork in Vivid Voltage, too, if you guys saw the full art of, uh, Alakazam. Really cool. All right. Going in. Man. <laughs> Alakazam has the best mustache in the game, says Jeff the Rep. Dude. <laughs> I got to say, it's on point. Wow. All right. So we got a hollow hit out of there. Um, I'll check the price on this one, too. It is number one in the set. And this one, if it was a 10, you're looking at around almost a thousand dollars but i would say this is probably a nine so you're looking at about 270 dollars that just sold the other day but uh i mean as you can see from the other cards as well like even just this squirtle that is a good pack that is what you want to see um some of the big hitters in this set you want to see starter pokemon you want to see popular pokemon and then you want to see the good uncommons as well like the flareon was a massive hitter as well so, it's really cool. It's really cool to see that, you know, you're going through a box of cards, and you're not just going for just the hollow cards. I mean, I find it really fun. I find it a lot more fun that people are, are really appreciating all the other artworks, like this Dark Flareon. I mean, this is cool. You can get all the other evolutions as well. So, awesome to see. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please let me know by smashing the like button. Uh, definitely helps out the channel greatly. And that was only the <laughs> that was only the first pack. So, first pack, and that was a banger. So we got one more pack here for Kevin. If Kevin is in the chat, let us know as well. Uh, gotta refuel up on these. 
Let's go. Um, also want to say what's up to... Yo, we got A-Mantastic in the house, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope we pull a Dark Blastoise, my favorite artwork. Oh, I hope we get that too. I'm looking for the Blastoise, the Charizard, Dragonite. Uh, Gyarados is sick. The Even the Magneton is a really good hitter. It's over $6,000 in a PSI 10, but it's so hard to grade in a 10. It's so hard to grade in a 10. I think we have the pop reports here too, courtesy of Julian. So Magneton, I doubt there's many in a 10. There's only 50. In comparison to like all the other cards in the set, is very low. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. The Rainbow Energy as well is a big hitter. Dark Raichu is a secret rare. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's just see what we got. Pack number three, Kevin. Uh, this is your second pack. Yo, Marshall, I appreciate it. Uh, stock looking out for me. Oh, let's go. Kevin is watching. All right, let's go. Lay low. What's the Dark Dragonite? Oh, this is so fun. All right. Oh, this one has like a little mark on the back. Uh, looks like a printing defect. All right, three from the back. We're going to start it off with a Porygon. Porygon number 48. We'll do another round of pricing on these uh, cards so you guys can see. Just sold yesterday for $102 on PWCC Auctions. We've got a Full Heal Energy number. Was that 81? Yeah, 81 Full Heal Energy is $181 in a PSA 10 just sold yesterday on PWCC. And we got a Dark Flare. And we did do the price on this one as well. I'll do it again. 35 $276 in a 10 just sold yesterday. Sleep! Got a Snorlax in this artwork. Number 79. Uh, just under $100. $98 just yesterday. There's Abra. We haven't pulled this one yet. We got the whole evolution line now. Abra on top of like a tower. Number 49. I remember this artwork as a kid. I always was looking at it. I was like wondering what was going on. But he's just sleeping on top of there, I guess. But number 49 is $111. Ekans, uh, I think that was like 50-ish when I checked. Psyduck was a big hitter. Number 65. Uh, $165. Charmander! There we go. You got a Squirtle and a Charmander. Big hitter, I'm assuming. Number 50. Uh, just sold for $310 in a PSA 10. Dude, Kevin destroying it right now. Destroying it right now. And as you can see, the centering on these is really good. Like, if you just want to look at the borders, you want to see how even they are. It don't have to be perfect. You can be off by 60-40. And this is definitely within that parameter. We got a Machop as well. Uh, number 59. $90 in a 10. And again, uh, you got to remember the non hollows are, like, a lot easier to grade because you don't have to worry about any sort of hollow defects at all. Print lines, anything like that. You just have to worry about the centering and, like, any whitening on the back. And you're pretty much good. We got a Slowpoke sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. Abra, Slowpoke, 67. $76 in a 10. And. <laughs> Dahlia says, I destroyed the like button. Yo, I appreciate that. All right. Can we get two hollows for Kevin? Wheezing. It is a non hollow number 31 out of 82. Dark Wheezing. Not the most popular. But it's still $98 if it were to come back in a PSA 10. It's a dark wheezing. Crushed it. One out of your two packs had a hollow hit. And it was a massive hollow hit at that. Dark Alakazam. You got the Charmander. You got two Flareons. You got the Squirtle. You got Psyduck. You got a couple Psyduck. Um, I mean, there's just so many awesome non hollows that you got in here as well. Besides that hollow dark Alakazam. This... Is where the value is at. This is one of those sets you'll find has a lot of value in the non hollows. A much earlier set. All right, and the Porygon going in. Awesome stuff here. And our Dark Wheezing non hollow. All right, Poke, we're three packs in. We got one hollow so far. We're pretty much on point right now. Um, Flareon was awesome. Abra, Charmander. Uh, even that challenge, Dark Muck. You got Flareon. Squirtle. Woo! All right, let's go. And, of course, how can we forget the Dark Alakazam? Beautiful. All right, Kevin, thanks for jumping in on this. Had two nice packs there. 
Going in for Kevin. Only three packs in so far. Don't forget, the Dark Charizard could be in here. The Dark Blastoise. The Dark Raichu Secret Rare. Uh, Gyarados. Uh, what else? I can't even think. There's so many cards you want to pull out of here. Uh, and and let, me, let me even say this as well. Even if you pull the Charizard in a non-holo, okay? I'm talking about a Charizard from a pack that doesn't have a holo. You're still looking at a card that's worth over $2,000 in a PSA 10. Like, between $2,000 and $2,500 for a non holo Charizard in a PSA 10. A non holo Let's see what we can do. And that's not the only non holo rare that's worth... Dark Blastoise over $500 is a big one as well. Dark Gyarados, uh, almost $200. I'm talking non holo Like, not even a holo Speaking of holo the Holo card is up next. 6301 with two packs as well. Guys, throw it in the chat if you're here to support the Holo card. I know I am. I'm rooting for you. I want to see you go two for two. You got all the pack artworks on this one, and then you got the Giovanni again. All right, I say we start off with Giovanni. What do you think, chat? Are we going to get a Charizard for the Holo card? Ewan says, I just subscribed. Yo, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. All right. Hashtag 2,000 likes. Uh, says, Ryder. I appreciate that. Yo, thank you all so much for being here. All right. We're going to start off with our first pack for d Halu card here in a second. Uh, I just want to say what's up to Troy. Uh, yo, thank you so much for the super chat, Troy. My pack is near uh, the end of the opening. But I was wondering if you'd be interested in uh, the empty booster box as well. Oh, you can actually... Um, you can shoot me an email, Troy. Feel free to shoot me an email. And uh, best of luck on your pack as well here. We got Jeff the Ref. Dude, thank you so much for the super chat. The Dark Arrows you pulled for me on the last one. Got a PSA 10. Best of luck to all with the packs. Happy New Year to all. Yo, Jeff the Ref. Um, another one of our mods here holding it down in the cave. Guys, make sure you check out all the mods down below in the description down there. Click the link. Check them all out. Uh, show them the support. We've got our... Official ref of the cave, Jeff the ref in the house. All right, let's go. D Halu card. We're rooting for you. Somebody said it's gonna have the blue eyes in it. All right. Apparently, some guy named Yu Gi Oh hangs out here too and opens up Yu Gi Oh cards. If you guys are into that, I don't know him personally, but uh, I think it's every couple weeks. They did a Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon box, and a Metal Raiders box. Okay. Dihalu. Let's see what we could do. I kind of want to go over the pricing again. I, we don't normally do this, but like this set is just super interesting. We have the data here, which we never really have all of them like this, which is crazy. So it's cool to see. Uh, this is 81. We did check this one out before, but it's 181 to PSA 10 if it were to come back at 10. The Porygon as well. We pulled earlier number 48 um, is $102 in a PSA 10 last sold. The Dark Loom is a new one that we haven't seen yet. Guys, the set is 82 cards. Um, but we got a Dark Gloom. Number 36. Number 36, $93 in a PSA 10. So almost $100 in a 10. There's Grimer. This is the corrected version. There was a, a uh, banned version of this card. Uh, the Creepy Grimer. Number 57. Not the most popular dude. But he still went for $158 the other day in a PSA 10. For a common in the set. The Ekans, I think it was 50. I'm starting to remember these now. The Abra was, what was the Abra? 111. Charmander! Yes! A big hit! A massive hit for a common. Uh, we pulled this. This is our second one tonight out of the fourth pack into this box. Number 50. Last sold just yesterday for over $300 in a PSA 10. This box is on fire right now. This Psyduck is another big one. Number 65. $165 in a 10. There's our Slowpoke again. Um, what was this one? Number 67. $76 in a 10 yesterday. And we got a Machop as well. Number 59 in the set. $90 in a 10. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Dihalu card. Your first pack. Is a Dark Blastoise, but it is a non holo but it is still the second most expensive non holo rare you can get out of this box. We literally just mentioned it like one minute ago. 
But the Dark Blastoise, I believe if this were to come back in a PSI 10, is still like a $500 card. And that it is. In a 9, $250. A massive hitter, the Dark Blastoise. Not the one with the shiny background that we're really, really looking for. But this is still really good. If you're going to get a non-hollow rare, you, this is like a top 3 or top 4. This is an Arita artwork, number 20 in the set. And again, the card is really clean. All the cards coming out of this box are looking really good. I'd say for sure you have a shot at a 10 on this one. Either way, a 9 or a 10 on that is going to be big. I mean, this is that we're getting to the point where I need to put non hollows into a card saver. Like, you guys know I reserve the card savers for, like, crazy epicness, but, like, you're seeing non hollows out of here. Like, the Charmanders, the Squirtle, the Flareon. Like, worth hundreds in a 10. So, that is what it's coming to now. These old sets are just moving up in price so many people are jumping back into pokemon now for the nostalgia uh so many different people jumping in it has been a crazy year and we're coming to the end of this year but the beginning of 2021 which i think might be even crazier i really do all right dark blastoise non-hollow nice hit but we still have another pack here d hollow card let's get it Yo, we got Poke Kobe in the house as well. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Poke Kobe. Will the Error Dragonite be pulled? I forgot about that. Is it worth 100000 in a PSI 10? Will Rhyme Style pull himself a Dark Charizard? Will D Halucard bring his army? Where is Mizkiv? Find out this time on the Poke Cave, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. Yo, Poke Kobe. Uh, hanging in the cave. Awesome dude to have here. <laughs> find out this time. We're not even going to wait till next time. We're going to find out this time. Let's go. All right, let's crack the knuckles a little bit. Let's get going. <laughs> Where is Miskiv? <laughs> All right. Dihalu Guard, second pack. First pack, although you didn't have a hollow, you still did really good. <laughs> Where is Alien, says Mr. Who? <laughs> He's always here. Rhyme style in the chat. I'm getting a Dragonite, dude. He's calling it. He does make good calls. It is very possible. Start off with the Dark Persian. It's what Meowth always wanted to be, but never could be. For Giovanni, uh, 42 in the set. $85 in a PSA 10, our first uncommon. Moving into a Dark War Turtle. Nice. Number 46 in the set at over $200 in a PSA 10. Just sold Literally yesterday on PWCC. Ed! Imposter Oaks Revenge! <sighs> okay, calm down. I actually like this one. Now, if you guys know, when I get the Imposter Professor Oak from base set, I don't like it because it's the rare slot. And it trolls me to this day. But, Imposter Oaks Revenge, I actually like this card. Because, first of all, it's an uncommon in the set. Second of all, it's got a Gengar in the background as well. And the Weezing looks really cool. I actually like this card. Number 76, though... Uh, $166 seems like other people like it as well. It's an uncommon. If they put it in as a rare, though, I might be like, eh, I don't know. We got a Dark Radicate number 51. Uh, just sold yesterday as well at $125. We got a Mankey number 61. $125. Voltorb, we haven't pulled this yet. Number 69. $103. We got the massive Diglett taking over the town. Number 52 in this set. $73 in a 10. Sleep. 79 is $98 in a 10. We got a Squirtle. Nice hit. Starters. We pulled like... What did we pull? Two Squirtle and two Charmander. Almost every pack so far has had a starter in it. Uh, number 68 in this set. Just sold the other day at an auction for $444. Holy moly, you gotta you wanna pull a squirtle, you wanna pull a Charmander. This actually was going more than the Charmander. I gotta say, I do like this artwork a little bit more than the Charmander, too. Alright. The Halu card. Dratini common. Number 53. $177. That's another one. But can we make this into a Dragonite right now? 
Dark Charizard! Yo! Woo! It's a non hollow, but it is a massive hit! Immediately throwing this boy in the sleeve. Woo! Yes! Yes! We already got a Dark Charizard. And it is the non hollow version, but before you say, oh man, it's a non hollow. The non hollow in a 10, it sells for between $2,000 and $2,500 in a PSA 10. You just got a card. Illustrated by Ken Sugimori, first edition stamp, Dark Charizard, to go perfectly. You know what Dark Blastoise pairs perfectly with? A Dark Charizard. That is like the two best non hollows that you could have ever got as rare. Dude, grade that card. Grade this card. Get it back into PSA 10, and it's worth over two grand. You guys can check sold listings. A bunch of them just sold recently, too. But uh, do we have... Let's see if we have a 9. Let's just say it doesn't come back at 10. Let's just say it doesn't come back at 10. Because for a non-hollow out of this, you're probably minimum... You're probably worst case is a 9 on most of these cards. Uh, especially for the non-hollows. Um, like, once in a blue moon, you can get an 8. But it's not super common to get 8s on non-hollows pack fresh. But, uh... So, the Charizard... So, even if it gets a 9, you're still looking at a card that's $450. That is probably the happiest I think I've ever been um, at, like, getting a non hollow rare. Back's looking really good. There's just a tiny little speck on the top left. You can bear, I don't even know if you guys can see that. See that right there? Man. Woo! -hoo -hoo. The ultimate cringe says, I don't know anything about collecting cards... Uh, and yet here I am. I feel like a lot of people might find themselves here. I'm actually curious how many people are here uh, Hanging out in the cave that don't even really collect cards But they're just like hanging out here put a hashtag me if that's you if you fall into that category You don't collect cards, but you just like hanging out here If we have anybody that says yes besides like at least like two or three people That would actually be pretty cool That would be pretty cool Alright, and if you guys do not know who I am, and you're just tuning in here as well for the first time, my name is PokerRev, and this is the Poke Cave, and we're doing live openings every Tuesday and Sunday, but we got content pretty much every day here, all these other live openings as well, tons of stuff going on in the cave, daily content, make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, click all the buttons, hit the bell notification icon, all that stuff, click everything, and I'm gonna see you back here again uh, in another video as well, but this isn't even close to being over. Not even close. Man, we got a lot of people. The chat is going nuts. Okay, that's actually really cool to hear. But I want to pull out this... Um, I want to show you guys something else that is actually really cool that I am just realizing right now. And you're going to want to see this. Oh, we're so close for the other one. Okay, check this out though. d -Halu card. You got the Squirtle. This one went for $440 yesterday in a 10 on PWCC auction. You got the Dark War Turtle. Which, I think it was a couple hundred at least. And then you got the Dark Blastoise. That is what I call the complete evolution line. How sick is that? The starter evolution line. Here's all three artworks. d Halu card got all three of them. Then, we got the Charmander. You don't have the second in the evolution line. The Dark Charmeleon, which is an uncommon in the set. But we did get the Dark Charizard. Charmander just decided to skip right to, Char to evolve into a Charizard. Skip second stage. Alright, Dialu card, no hollow, but I think that might have been the, like, most hype I've ever been for somebody that did not get a hollow. <laughs> Out of both backs. Alright. Going in for Dialu card, and we are, we're only five packs into this thing, and I've already pretty much lost my mind. Alright, let's keep it going, let's see what else we can do. We've got Dominic S up next, 6302, grabbing one single pack. Jericho says, those two packs brought so much heat. Dominic, one single pack. Yo, we got Richie Hustles in the chat as well. Dude, thank you, as always, for being here. Thank you for the super chat. Just finished up a vi Vivid Voltage Booster Box opening. Uh, thanks for inspiring me to make a difference. Content on my channel. Dude, Richie Hustles, going in on the openings. Make sure you check it out. Vivid Voltage Booster Box opening. Sounds amazing. Uh, awesome to hear that, my friend. Let's go. And, uh, Casbo with the super chat says 5,000 people watching, only 1,100 likes. Hit the like button. Yo, I appreciate that. Dominic, can we do the one pack magic? 
All right, let's go. We're going to take three from the back here. We're going to jump into it. We're going to go. Start off with a Dark Electrode. We have not hit this one yet. Number 34 in this set. Uh, $103 sold yesterday on auction. And 10. Dark Flareon. Big hitter. Number 35 in this set. $275 just yesterday in a 10. We got the Dark Muck, our third uncommon card. And that is number 41 in this set. That just sold for $104 yesterday on auction as well. The Goop Gas Attack, uh, 78. $121 yesterday in a PSA 10. You got a Zubat, not the most popular. Number 70, $93 though in a 10. We got an Ekans, number 56. $52 just sold yesterday. We got a Machop, 59 in the sets. You can't really get a bad card out of here, I'm realizing. Number $90 in a 10. What is the lowest PSA 10 price sold recently? I think it's the Ekans for $52. And that's the lowest by far. This is crazy. You can't get a bad card out of here. There's no, like, that is the lowest PSA 10 price. And that is the lowest by far. The next one up, I think, is like... Like $70 or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we know every card's going to be good. We got a Mankey, number 61. Uh, $125 sold a couple weeks ago. Here's Sleep again. Magnemite. We didn't pull this one yet, though, I don't think. $131, though, in a PSA 10. And the final card. Dark Dog Trio, non-hollow. Number 23 in the set. Um... Not the hollow version. You can get this in a hollow, though. But the non-hollow version, number 23, $73 if it were to get a 10. Last sold nine was $50. So not the best non-hollow rare to get out of this set. But again, with all the other non-hollows and how the market is, I would say, honestly, not bad at all. Which is crazy to say, I know. But... If you could get a lot of these back in a 10, which they're just non hollows, you actually are doing pretty good. Like, if you were to get, like, most of these back in a 10, like this, again, the Dark Flareon, that was, like, well over 200. The Dark Electrode. But no hollow. Dominic, thank you for jumping in on this opening. What, do you, what website are you using to see the prices? Go on eBay. Type in the card put a psa either 10 or 9 in the when in the search and then click sold there's a little checkbox on the left side if you're on desktop um if you're on mobile you can click the drop down menu click on the sold then you can see all the sold listings it'll go back three months worth of sold listings on ebay that's pretty much the best way to go about it you can also go on pokemon price but it's a little iffy it doesn't catch a lot of the sales sometimes it puts in random ones that aren't there best offer ones don't really show up correctly sometimes either I gotta pace myself for this one. All right. Next person up. Jackie Tong, last initial C, 6303. You got one pack as well. One pack. Bill, I appreciate it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Jackie, we got one single pack here. Let's see what we could do. There's still a lot of cards that we haven't hit yet. We haven't hit the Dark Charmeleon, which, whoa. Dark Charmeleon sold for $495 on PWCC auctions yesterday. Crazy timing for this opening. You get the most up-to-date up to, uh, info going on here. Hot off the press. Sometimes these packs are weird to open up. All right, see? I always keep the front nice, though. All right, so whoop, we're going to do the pack trick. So if you guys don't know, pack trick is three from the back. That leaves the last card as the rare for last, which is either uh, a hollow or non-hollow rare. But we got a dark gold duck. We haven't pulled one of these yet. Number 37 in this set. That's a $300 card in a P... I can't believe it. It literally just sold yesterday. $314 PWCC. Uh, Potion Energy, number 82. We did not pull this one yet. 181 in a PSA 10, we got a Digger, number $7,500 in a PSA 10. A Magnemite, I think that was like $125. Ponyta. 
Whoa. You guys are blowing up the live stream right now. Yo, thank you so much. Holy cow. Wow. You guys all just raided. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Every army known to humanity just raided us right now. Yo, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> Yo, thank you all. Oh, man. Kevin, Trillix, D. Hollywood. Yo, you guys are the best. Seriously, thank you so much. Is anybody else in here that I'm missing? Dude, you guys are the best. You guys literally just blew up the, the live stream right now. Over 10,000 likes? We were just going for like 2,000. <laughs> Yo, I, I seriously appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Wow. Wow. All right, we got a pony tie number 64. $102 in a PSA 10. We got a drowsy. Woo! The chat's bur is, is like smoking right now. It's burning up. <laughs> drowsy, uh, number 54. $112. All right, this is apparently the box that you can't lose on. Coughing, number 58. Uh... $111 in a 10. A Ratata number 66 just went for $69 in a PSA 10. We got a Goop Gas Attack. All right. Are we coming up on it? Or is there one more? There's one more. Meowth? All right. Poke Cave. Jackie is going to get. Oh, it's a hollow. It's a trainer, but we'll take a hollow all day. The Rocket Sneak Attack. We did get this one in non-holo. This is holo number two out of the box with the one-pack magic. Rockets sneak attack. Let's check this card out. Um, it's number 16 in the set. So it's one of the last hollows in there. So it's not the most expensive one. It's about $240 last sold in a PSA 10. Um, a 9 went for about 100 So it's not the most expensive one, but I, it is actually one of the easier ones to grade if I remember. Okay, this one actually has some whitening, though. One there. One there. It's a little bit off-centered. Left to right. Not a ton. You're probably a safe 9 on this one. I don't know if this one will pull the 10 with... You can usually get away with, like, one little corner thing, maybe. And maybe something else. But it has a little bit more than a couple, in my opinion. So you probably look more like a 9 on this. Unfortunately, it's the lower price um hollow but you got a hollow one pack magic and the crazy part about it is remember the non hollows that we pulled the blastoid like there are not hollows worth more than the hollow which is like the crazy part which is why i was mentioning it so much throughout this live stream is the non hollows the non hollows like you actually you probably have more expensive non hollows in your pack than uh that hollow which is crazy but awesome, we got the one-pack magic. We've got uh, two hollows so far. The Alakazam, the Dark Alakazam, and the Rockets uh, Sneak Attack. So these are going in. And then we're going to move on to our next person. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our seventh pack. So we're pretty much on point right now. Two hollows out of seven packs. The normal odds on these older boxes are about one in three packs uh, gets you a hollow hit. All right. Man, you guys are blowing the chat. You guys are blowing this video up. I really appreciate it. All right. Hopefully everybody here is having an awesome time. Um, so we're moving on, though, to our next person. It's going to be Joseph R. Caps Lock. Your name is Caps Locked. 6304. One single pack of the Giovanni again. Get a lot of Giovanni pack artworks out of here. There should be an equal amount of each artwork in the booster boxes, or close to equal anyway. Um, we got Michael L. in the house with the Super Chat. As a 28-year-old, I could probably say, watching your last few streams got me back into collecting after nearly 15 years. Thanks, man. Keep up the work. Dude, Michael, that is awesome here. Welcome back to collecting. Um, it always makes my day hearing that. Alejandro in the chat as well. In 2013, I purchased two master sets from a collector on Craigslist based on limited first edition Team Rocket for about $400. Crazy how it's going. How, crazy how it's grown. Love the Poke Cave. Stay positive. Yo, that's wild. There's probably so many stories from back in the day of people just picking up stuff. Um, man, that's nuts. And Casual in the chat, uh, the super chat as well again. 
hit the like button people and most questions are answered in the frequently asked questions in the description y'all i appreciate that if you guys have questions check out the link down below in the description frequently asked questions um halfway down the description will answer probably most of your questions that you might have there um let's go all right joseph r let's see if we get the one pack magic for you as well There's still so many big hitter hollows in here that we have not seen yet, which is the crazy part. Dark Charizard hollow. $6,000. There we go. Dark War Turtle to start off with our uncommon. I think this one was about a couple hundred dollars. Number 46. That's if it gets a 10. $200. Last sold. Imposter Oaks Revenge. Another big one was around 150 in a 10. Dark Persian. Number 42. Um, $85 in a PSA 10. We got a Voltorb. A Sleep. Diglett. There's a Drowsy. We got a Dratini. I think that one was around 125-ish. Last sold in a 10. Ponyta. End. Magnemite. Final card. Is it going to be a Dark Charizard? Dark Midchamp. Non-Hollow Rare. Non hollow number 27 in the set. Again, this is one where you can get him in hollow as well, uh, just like all the other ones. But this one is number 27, and that went for still 127 in a 10, $75 in a nine a couple weeks ago. So, um, Dark Machamp as our rare out of the one pack. Dark War Turtle, really big hitter, but no hollow in that one. So, you can also get, of course, um, so for non hollows I mean, you can still get the Dark Dragonite. That's $350 in a PSA 10, like, even as a, a non -holo. Um But no hollow in that one, unfortunately. Yo, David, I appreciate it. All right, we're going to penny sleeve these up real quick. We're going to move on to our next person here in just a second. Um, we got Good Vibe Gaming in the house. Hey, Rev, you're the best. Me and my son enjoy watching your pack openings. Keep up the great work. Yo, Good Vibe Gamings, I appreciate that. Uh... Thank you guys for tuning in. This is fun. I have a lot of fun doing this with you guys. I look forward to these streams on Tuesdays and Sundays all week. Especially Tuesdays. Tuesdays, they get crazy. Tuesdays get crazy. All right, Joseph. Sorry we could not pull you a hollow out of here. We're going to move on to our next person in just one moment. Jarvis in the house. What's going on, dude? Good to see you. I think you're in this. Are you in this opening? I feel like you are. Okay, so. Our next person up. Is. Trevin W. 6305. You got two packs. Trevin's going in. You guys got to wish Trevin some good luck here. Another Giovanni pack artwork. And we got the Jesse and James. All right. Let's start off with Giovanni again. Best of luck to Trev. We still have not seen even a lot of non hollows like the Dark Charmeleon. Um, there's a lot. Vaporeon is another massive one. That's like $250 in a 10. The Charmeleon is huge. That's $500 in a 10. Dragonair. We haven't got a Dragonair either. All right. And Jolteon. 330 to 10. Stocks uh, spreading the positivity and love. Yo, I appreciate that. All right, Trev. Trevin. Three from the back. Let's see if we can get Trev. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Jar Jarvis is in this. Let's All right. All right, we got you. Oh! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Hold on! Poke game. We got our first Dark Shard Million. Man, I literally, I speak these cards into, like, existence, apparently. This happened every time I've said a, a card. Dark Charmeleon last sold for $495 yesterday on auction on PWCC. A 9 sold a couple weeks ago for $115. This is a massive card. Dude. Oh! <laughs> uh, the double shot. The double kill, Dark, Dragonair, 200 in a PSA 10 last sold yesterday. Poker game, I can't handle this box. Ugh, we're going to get a triple kill. 
Oh, the boss's way. Yo, I'll take that from the... This is the exact um, pack right there, too. We got Giovanni. Three uncommons that we haven't seen yet. Number 73. $91 and a 10, dude. There you go. There you go. We got a Zubat. Still, just for a Zubat. Remember, $93 yesterday in a 10. We got the Abra. Another big hitter. Hundred dollar ball. Oh, oh man. We got a Charmander. I can't handle this pack right now. My temperature is rising. Number fifty. This sold yesterday for three hundred ten dollars and a ten. You got the Charmander. You got the Charmeleon. Radicate. Please tell me you're gonna finish this evolution line right now. You got the Charmander. You got the Dark Charmeleon. Diglett. Dare I say it? Dare I even say it? Dratini to go with the Dragonair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on, Foka Cave. Yo. Yo. Are we about to... All right, chat. Summon right now. We need somebody to summon this. Are, are we going to summon the Dragonites? Or are we going to summon the Charizard? We've got the Charmander and the Charmeleon. We got the Dratini and the Dragonair. I think there's one more card. I'm, I'm not going to check yet. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hashtag Dragonite or hashtag Charizard. Somebody, we got to summon one of these right now. We got to complete an evolution line. Let's go, chat. Pick the one you want. It's the battle of the dragons right now. The Dragonite or the Charizard. Which one are we going to... I mean, hopefully we get one of them. But you, just summon one of them right now. Alright, chat. Jeff's calling upon the Dragonite. Graham's summoning a Dragonite. Charizard. This is this is a tight battle. Dragonite, it's even. Dragonite would be pulling ahead. Oh, somebody said the error. The error Dragonite. Alright. I think the Air Dragonite actually comes in the uncommon slot, weirdly enough. I'm not sure. Dragonite? It's like even. It's even. Alright, alright, alright. I don't know if this is the last card. It's not. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Oh! What the... <laughs> oh! Talk about a top 10 moment of 2020. Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Talk about a top 10 moment in the cave for 2020. I think... That we might have just did one of the best rocket packs that I have ever seen, that I have ever witnessed. We just pulled the Hollow First Edition Dark Dragonite with the full evolution line. On top of that, summoning it in the cave. And the centering is beautiful if this card were to come back in a psa 10 you're talking last sold for four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars if it were to come back in a psa 9 you're talking six hundred and fifty dollars man tiny white dot up there Oh, look, you got a swirl on the side there. Polka Cave, like, you just can't. I tr We try to tell people, for those that hang out in the cave, we try to tell people, you just, you can't make this up. You just cannot make this up. This is just, this is just what happens here. And I don't know. I don't know what it is. 
But we just spoke this thing into a, we literally have the entire evolution line of the Dragonite, Dratini, Dark Dragonair, Dark Dragonite. And, oh, how can I even forget? This is Trev. This is Trev's first pack. Man. We're not even halfway through this thing. I'm gonna sleeve these up too. You also almost summoned a Charizard because you got the Charmander and the Dark Charmeleon. That is quite possibly one of the best packs of first edition Rocket that anybody could ever open. Charmander and Dark Charmeleon. Man. Man. So much in that pack. And that was the first one for Trev. All right. <laughs> we get a Charizard out of the second one now is the question. Oh, man. All right, Poke Cave. Strap in. This is going to be a bumpy ride because we're just still getting started here. We're not even halfway through this. We might be a quarter of the way through. I don't have enough in here to last. All right. DJ says next is the Charizard. All right. All right, Poke Cave. That might be a uh, that's like a god pack. I mean, oh, all right. What, what's next for Trev? Is Trev here? I hope so. We start off with a Porygon. Remember, we still have that evolution line of Charmander. We got Charmander. We got Dark Charmeleon. Imposter Oak's Revenge, I think that was about 150 and a 10. Uh, Potion Energy, 100, 125 maybe, I forget. Uh, Volt Sorb. Sleep. Diglett. Everybody's throwing in Charizard now, trying to summon it from the next one. Could you imagine? <sighs> Dratini again. <laughs> Dratini. All right. <laughs> We're going to get a second evolution line. Ponyta. Remember, the Chitini number 53 is, uh, you're looking at a $177 card in a 10. The Ponytoss number 64, you're looking at a $102 card in a PSA 10. Magnemite number 60, 131 to 10. Are we going to complete the Charizard? The evolution line for the Charmander now. Dark Machamp non-hollow. We'll take it because your first pack was a god pack. Oh, all right. Man, Trev. Like, how was that even first pack even possible? Dark Machamp non-hollow rare. We got two Dratinis. We got the Dragonair. We got the Charmander, the Dark Charmeleon. We got the Dark Dragonite hollow. I almost passed out from that first pack. I need to have a doctor in the cave at all times for these openings. All right, man, craziness. Again, highly recommend uh, if you are in any of these openings, especially the Wizard of the Coast ones to, I, I would grade pretty much all the cards, honestly. I really would. The Charmander. The char the Charmander was at like uh number fifty in a ten it's just sold for three hundred ten dollars yesterday. The Dark Charmeleon five hundred dollars in a ten. I mean Dark Dragon Air is is just yeah, you guys know already. I went through all these, but man. Then on top of that, the Dark Dragon Air. First edition holographic card with the swirl. A little bit off left to right, so you might be looking at a nine on that. Um due to the centering, it's yeah, it's probably, it might, I think it's a little too off. I think it barely misses it on the centering. You want at least a 60-40. You, I think you're more looking like a 65-35 on that one. But let us know. Let us know, Trev. Either way, the 9 is still, was that like 650 in a 10 or something? All right. 
pretty much lost my voice already. Not even halfway through this thing. All right. Alan M is up next, 6306 with one pack. In one pack only, but you guys have seen what you could do with one pack. All right, Polka Cave. Let's wish Alan some good luck here. I gotta, I, I really had to rehydrate after every pack. It gets that crazy with these. Man, we got a lot of people hanging out here in the cave. 7,500? Yo, thank you all so much for being here. Brandon Plays, I remember you. Thanks for tuning in. You were here the other day during the last live stream. Oh, man. Okay. Alan. Let's crush it. One pack. Sometimes that's all it takes. Is one pack. The Magikarp! It's actually, Magikarp's a really popular Pokemon. We haven't pulled this yet. Number 47. I love seeing a Magikarp, because you guys know a Magikarp gets into a, uh, evolves into a Gyarados, so maybe we can pull the Gyarados. Uh, number 47, $102 just sold yesterday on PWCC, and a Dark Rapidash. We have not pulled either. Number 44, $176 in a PSA 10. Uh, Dark Dragonair! Oh, <laughs> makes a return. Number 33 uh, in the set. Um, $200 in a PSA 10. Um, oh my gosh. Sora. Dude, that is too kind. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That is a huge super chat. Yo, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sora. Uh, the $5, the $500 donation. Loving your channel, Rev. Congrats on 200k subs on to 1 million. All the best. Yo, seriously, that is incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, Sora. Wow. Too kind. Seriously, thank you. Slowpoke. We got a Voltorb. Squirtle! <laughs> I'm so caught up in the chat right now. Oh, man. I didn't even realize we had the Squirtle. So, unfortunately, this one's off-center. So, this one would definitely not be a 10. Like, that one you could tell is way is off too much to get a PSA 10. Um, so, it's number 68. That one's still in a 9. going for $102. That is wild. Man. Podita. Everybody's throwing in for Soar the Legend. Man. Let's get the Soar luck on this pack. Sora, Sora. Let's go. Oh, Eevee. I forgot Eevee was in the set. I forgot Eevee was in this set. I'm losing my voice. 55. <laughs> Pat, where's the spray? <laughs> 55. Oh. 226 and a 10. This is another one, though, that looks off-center. So we're starting to get some cards that are off-center, which we didn't see before. So that would most likely be a 9 at best. But we got a Grimer. And... Oh, man, what's it going to be? Oh, Rainbow Energy is the hollow. No! It's the non-hollow version number... 80 in the set out of 82. The not hollow. I was gonna say if this was the hollow version, it's super hard to grade in a 10 uh, of Rainbow Energy, and you would be surprised. Uh, but this one actually looks really good. The centering looks really good on this thing. So Rainbow Energy, number 80, probably not the most expensive card, honestly, uh, because it's probably not the most difficult to grade in a non hollow. But let's see what it's worth. Anyway, 103 dollars. 103, but you got some massive hitters on the non house I mean, you got an Eevee. You got a Squirtle. You got a Dragonair. Um, we did, I, I completely forgot Eevee was in the set. So you have an Eevee. So some of the other ones like Rattata, uh, Ponyta. Squirtle, though. You got a Squirtle. You have the Voltorb. Putting these in penny sleeves because, I mean, it's just crazy now with, with, non hollow commons and uncommons it's just insane dark dragonair a massive hit now this one looks a lot better centering it looks like it has potential for sure um the dark rabbit dash and magikarp are really good as well so even though you got a non hollow luckily you got a lot of big hitters for um 
your non hollows so here's some of them. All right, going in. So far, Poke Cave, we have three hollows out of this box, and how many packs do we have opened? I think we might be right on point again. If we opened up nine packs, that's about one in three. So we opened up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we opened up eleven, so we're actually behind. So that means that the odds are actually better right now. Uh, coming up on the next people in this opening. All right. I would still keep your seatbelts fastened because this is not even halfway op over yet. We only got three hollows out of here. Uh, I think we're just starting to get crazy right now. So let's go. Let's see what else we got going on here. Um, sorry, guys. I am totally missing the chats. I apologize. I can still pull them up, though. Uh, all right, let's go. Um, is it Arion F6307? Apologies if I said your name incorrectly. We have one pack. So let's see what we could do. And the Giovanni artwork returns again. What is this? We'll take him though. Giovanni artwork. One pack. Can we do it, Polka Cave? Yo, Alms, thank you for the super chat as well. Um, whew, spending over 50 hours in the last 10 days to give people the Pokemon cards. Wish you all the success. We need more people like you. Dude, you are too kind. But yeah, I think we were about 50 hours for the last member's opening all in for 10 days. So I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate the support from everybody. Uh, Gamer Grounds, thank you as well for the super chat. Caswell, back at it. 10,000 likes. Yo, I appreciate it. We're like crushing like 12,000 now. I don't even know if we've ever had this many likes on a video. Uh, it's just a crazy night. Everybody throwing in the support. Uh, especially all the streamers and everything else that tune in. So I appreciate that so much. All right. Let's go. We're ready. Marshall M with the super sticker as well, dude. Appreciate it. Devin F with the super chat. Thank you so much. Okay. Started with the magic card. I believe that was about $100 in a PSA 10. We're on point now with centering. Dark Rapitash. Um, was, I think this was the same as last pack set up. Uh, and then Challenge. Another one. I think that was around 100, 150-ish in a 10. We got a Zubat. There's our Eevee. Uh, and this one is definitely off center though, a bit left to right. I think it's definitely out of the parameters for a 10. Still a big hitter. Um, I don't think I have any nine data on this. Number 55. I don't have any nine data, so I'm not sure on that, but I would assume a nine is still decent. Got a Grimer. Now we're getting back on, on centering again. Oddish. This is the first time we're seeing an Oddish. Number 63. $84 sold yesterday at PWCC auctions. Psyduck. Now that is a good hitter. 65. 165 in a PSA 10. Got our Ekans. That was around $50. The lowest priced common in the set. Abra. Number 49. Looking at about 111 in 10. Ed, we're going up on our rare. Dark Golbat non hollow. Number 24 in the set. Luckily, our non hollow rares are actually really well centered. Uh, which is good to see. So, Dark Golbat, number 24. Go over about $100 in a PSI 10 last sold uh, just yesterday on PWCC Auction. I think we're 12 packs in, so we're officially um, at the... We're third way through this box. We are a third of the way through this box. We have three hollows so far. The Dark Dragonite already, um, as I would say, definitely the biggest hollow hitter so far. We also got that... Dark Alakazam Hollow Hit, which is sick. Um, and then we did get the Here Comes Team Rocket Hollow. Not the craziest one, but it was still a Hollow. So three in so far. We're still looking for the Hollow Dark Charizard coming in at just under. Well, it's actually over six thousand. Last one sold for six thousand eight hundred dollars in a PSA ten. Um, we want to see that Dark Blastoise closing in at almost five grand the other day in a ten. Um, I would love to see Dark Gyarados personally. Uh, the Secret Rare Raichu, another massive hitter at around 3,000 in a PSI 10. Um, just to name a few of them, the Dark Magneton. If we even pull a Dark Magneton, it is so hard to grade a 10. But if you could somehow grade a 10 on that, they last sold for 6,500. And yes, that is the King of the uh, Magneton. That is literally the King Magneton card. Like, Magneton, definitely not the most popular Pokemon out there. But like, that is, if you're a Magneton collector... That is the King Magneton card. It is so hard to get. Everybody tries to get that card. 
All right. Oh. Oh, here we go. All right, perfect timing for this one. If you guys are ready. All right. It's going to get bumpy in the cave. Tighten up your seatbelts. We got Trillix up next. Number 6308. And you have two packs. Let's get it. All right. So, we got all the artworks on this one. And then we have all the artworks again. All right. If you guys are here to support Trillix, which everybody should be. Trillix always tuning in uh, as well with Dihalu card. Make sure you throw in the support in the chat. Grabbing two packs out of here. Oh, man. Let's go. Make sure you check out both of them on Twitch and YouTube as well. Awesome, awesome, guys. Uh, let's go. All right. Man. Let's go. Trillix. First pack. I got to refresh again. I, I got to refresh. Okay. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I uh, also want to say what's up to Kyle. Yo, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for making my evening so great. Love coming home and seeing you live. Happy holidays to you and everyone in the chat. Kyle, awesome to see you. Thank you so much for the support for being here. Um, Theo in the chat as well. I'm going to... Uh, Theo's asking about the Saturday Q&As that we used to do. I am going to um, relaunch that series again. It'll be different, but I have an idea to make it even better. So I'm working on that behind the scenes. So I have not given up on that series yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's go. <laughs> Is there an apprentice under your table? Papa Latte Trillix D. Hello card. Yo, uh, it's going down. Everybody's tuning in. I appreciate it. All right. Trillix, let's get it. First pack. Remember, 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 remember. We only opened three hollows so far. Okay? And we're, we're almost, we're like almost halfway through this box. There still should be, on average, I would say, around, around nine more hollows left. You can get more than that. We've done it here before. Why is this pack doing this to me? Oh, man. Why? Okay. That was the weirdest, this is the weirdest pack to open up. Okay. Always keeping the front clean, though, for the most part. All right, card trick. Going three in the back. We're saving that last card for last. Oh, people ask for codes. Um, tell you what, next. Oh, hold on a second. We just got the Dark Jolteon to start it off for Trillix. I just got to say, finally, we got a Dark Jolteon. We got, I think, two or three Flareons. We have not seen a single Jolteon or Vaporeon until now. The Dark Jolteon, number 38 in the set. Um, you're looking at a card that last sold for $330 in a 10, and if you get a 9, it went for $150 in a 10 on PWCC. Okay. I'm going to throw a code in on the next hollow that we get, and I'll tell you guys more about that in a second, what the code means and everything. Starting off with a massive hitter for an uncommon, one of the biggest. We got a digger as well. We got Doe Duo coming out of there. Uh, it looks like Mr. Krabs is back there as well. Number 75, about $100 in a PSA 10 for a digger, and we got a Dark Kadabra, another big hit, number 39, I think this is only the second one that we pulled today, uh, number 39, Dark Kadabra is $183 in a PSA 10, you got some really good uncommon cards, uh, Goop Gas Attack, you got a Zubat, I think that one's still about 80 or so for the Zubat, the Eevee, nice hit, um, the centering on the EVs are still off a little bit. This one's a little bit better. Uh, but this one, I think, was about 125 in a PSA 10. There's our Grimer. Got an Oddish. Oddish, Oddish. Psyduck, another good hit. Number 65 in the set. 165 a couple weeks ago on PWCC. Ekans. AKA Snake Backwards, if you guys did not know that. First pack. Dark Jug Trio. It is the non hollow. That's actually the second one that we pulled today in non hollow form. Again, you can get this in hollow, but on the hollow, you actually can't see the background. Um, it's Dug Trio busting through the floor in a bedroom. So, number 23 in the set. Not the most um, valuable card, but it's super nostalgic. About $75 in a 10, 50 in a 9. For the rare number 23 first edition stamp dark dog trio um and that is going in for trillix the first pack i will say this though you got a lot of good non hollows out of here you got the psyduck you got eevee i mean you got a jolteon card which if that were to come back a 10 
was like over three hundred dollars. But you got your you got it you got the evolution. You got Eevee to go with the Jolteon. And you got a Dark Kadabra. That's another big hitter for non hollow. So at least your non hollows are really good. But I will show you actually. You're, this is like the Eevee Brothers. Does anybody remember that episode? So you have the regular Eevee, and then you have the Jolteon version. You evolve it with the Thunderstone. All right, can we get the Flareon, and can we get the Vaporeon? Let's find out. All right. Oh, there he is! The one and only Unlisted Leaf in the cave. Yo, good to see you. Good morning to Ando. It is the classic non-hollow troll. Yo, unlisted leaf. All right, let's get the unlisted leaf luck now. Ando, bring us a Charizard on this pack for Trillix. Man, Ando, I don't know if you saw. Oh, which pack was it? You have to see um, Trev's pack. Trev and W's first pack if you missed it. You have to see that. It was like three people ago. It was a top 10 moment in the cave, if you have not seen that. All right. Oh, you got the Abra now. So you got that with the Kadabra. You're filling out the evolutions. Uh, so here we go. All right. And remember, again, we only have three hollows out of this booster box, and we are almost, we're getting closer to halfway through, so there's got to be something coming up. Hopefully it is in this pack right here right now for Trillix. And we got a Dark Machoke, number 40 in the set. $150 sold yesterday, PWCC auctions. Awesome card to pull out of here. We got the Challenge, Dark Rapidash, number 44 in this set. Last sold for $176 yesterday, PWCC. And you got the Abra to go with the Dark Kadabra. Awesome hit there as well. You got a Slowpoke. Impressive, doing well. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Blazing Dairy in the chat as well. Good to see you. Got a lot of people hanging out here. Pokey Kano no in the house as well. Machop and a Charmander. Yes. Number 50 in the set. I should already remember this now because we've been getting Charmanders uh, a lot. Luckily, no, about 300 last sold yesterday in a 10. Yo. Okay. We got the Voltorb Charmander. Another massive hitter in there as well. Mankey. The Monkey. We got a Dark Radicate. Ready? Oh, the Rainbow Energy number 80, the non hollow. Unfortunately, Trillix, we could not pull you out of hollow out of here. I am sorry, but luckily, you got some really nice non hollows in here. I'm going to sleeve all these up really quickly and do a quick recap on some of your big hitters because you did get the Charmander. Hopefully this one will come back at 10. It's actually centered. It's good. It's actually pretty good centering. It actually looks really good. So that, I'm just going to look at the back too. I don't see. There's like a tiny, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Super, super tiny at the top right there. Uh, but this is really good. I think you got a really, really good shot on that one. Um, slow poke. But again, I would grade pretty much all these cards. I mean, they got the first edition stamp. If you guys don't know, the first run of this set, they put the first edition stamps there, which means it is the earliest and the most valuable of that set. You also got that Jolteon. You got the Eevee, the Choke. No Hollow, unfortunately. Some of the other ones here. All right, these are going in, and we are we're we're on the lower end now. Of the Hollows. We were starting off strong in the beginning, uh, but we still are only three hollows into this surprisingly so whoever is still left in this thing your odds we got to be at almost one in one and two one and two and a half uh at this point we opened up two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we opened up 14 packs and we got three hollows out of it um so if we're still with the odds of what we normally pull out of a booster box, there should still be nine hollows left. Um, what did I say? 14 packs, right? So, 22 packs with probably around nine hollows left. That's some pretty good odds. That's like two and a half. One and two and a half. All right. 
Rhyme Style said, let's go. Rhyme Style's still in this thing. Uh, let's go. All right. Moving on to our next person. And remember, we haven't pulled the Dark Blastoise Hollow, the Dark Ma Magneton, uh, the Dark Charizard Hollow. Uh, I mean, all the big hitters. We did pull the Dragonite, but you can double up. You can double up on Hollows. So, let's see what we got here. Robert V, 6309. You have two packs. We're going to take two more. We got the Jesse and James and the Gyarados pack. Okay. Two packs for Robert. Best of luck. Yo, I appreciate that, Blazing Dairy. Okay. Two more things. Next Halloween pool, I'm going to drop a code. Uh, if you guys don't know what that means, I will tell you what it means once I drop it. Number two, if you stay to the end of this live opening, till the very end, till the last pack is opened up, I'm going to announce next Tuesday's opening, which you will be able to grab at thepokecave.com as soon as I show it on the screen. And yes, Tuesdays are the old school vintage days. So if you guys don't know, Tuesdays, um, I always have an old school opening. And it is always pretty crazy. So make sure you stick around for the rest of this live. Don't go. Don't leave us. Okay, next pack. Robert V, we're going to wish you the best of luck here. You got two packs. We're going to take three from the back. We're very, we're, we're on the low end right now, okay? We are on the low end right now for hollow hits. We've only pulled three. That just means the rest of this box is going to be probably crazy. The Boss's Way. I think that was about 100-ish and a 10. We got a Dark Machoke. I think that one was about a 150 and a PSA 10. Dark Charmeleon. One of the biggest hitters, most expensive, uncommon cards in this set. Last sold just yesterday on auction at $495 in a 10. Now, this one is off top to bottom, though. Okay. Probably a 9. See that? So, like, the left to right is looking good, but the top to bottom, this is thicker at the top. So, that's probably not going to be in a 10 centering. That's one of the biggest things you're going to look for. Um, but a Dark Child Million in a 9 is still $115 last sold. You got a Meowth, number 62 in this set. Meowth, $150 sold yesterday on PWCC. Goop Gas Attack. You got a Zubat. Eevee. Nice hit for a common again. We, all of a sudden, the Eevee just started appearing out of nowhere. We weren't getting them at all. And then all of a sudden, we started getting them. We got a Grimer. Oddish. What is this one going for? Number 63. Last sold for $84 on PWCC just yesterday. Even these comments. Psyduck, another big hitter. Number 65. I always feel like Psyduck's second to last card. Uh, 65, $165 a couple weeks ago. Last sold. And Robert. Are you going to get a Charizard or Blastoise? Magneton. Oh, only it was the hollow version. Not hollow Magneton. Number 28 in the set. Bummer, because if it was the hollow... The PSA 10 version of that card is actually, I think, the most expensive card in this set. Believe it or not, six thousand, uh, right up there with the Charizard, six thousand five hundred ish. Uh, but this one is the non hollow version, number twenty eight. We have the data. Let's check it out. Eighty eight dollars last sold yesterday at auction. Sixty five for a nine. Um, eighty eight for a ten. So not the biggest hitter. But the good news is, Robert, you got one more pack here, um, and we got some pretty good commons and non hollow cards as well. Let's go. Poke Cave. Let's get it. Richie Hustle's back at it in the chat. The super chat is just for being <laughs> so magical. Holy evolution lines. Yo, I appreciate it. Um, oh, I forgot. You got the Charmeleon. Although that one won't get the PSA 10. It's still a really good hit. Um, Shadow Humor with the super chat as well. I really want to purchase a first edition booster pack. Um, if you wait till the end... You definitely will have a shot. I'm also going to restock the entire store for sealed packs that get uh, sold sealed and kept sealed um, for people that want those as well. And that is dropping probably pretty soon. Give me like th probably three days or so. Um, so that will be a big stock up on a lot of different sets that I'm going to tell you guys about as well eventually. Um, all right. Oh, John's watching Mystery at the Lighthouse tonight. Yo, I love that episode. Man, the nostalgia vibes in the cave. Uh... Alms throwing it in for the drag uh the Dragonite evolution. My dog pulled the pulling the big 
cards out. Yo, I appreciate that. Um, all right, let's go. Chanel as well says, I need that Dark Dragonite Hollow to complete my set. Uh, message me at Chanel808life on Twitter. Yo, hunting for the cards. That's You got to do what you got to do to complete your sets. Out here in the super chat, hunting for stuff. Let's go. Well, it, I mean, we're talking to everybody that's here. Everybody that's here has heard it, so you never know. It's Levency Entertainment back at it. Yo, Rev, fire hits already. Good luck to everybody. Yo, I appreciate it. Robert, second pack for you. Let's crush it out and see what we can do. I see something red on the front. Okay, it's a ponytail. Three from the back. All right. Dark Dragonair to start it off. A massive hitter for an uncommon. Dark Dragonair, number 33. 200 last sold in a 10. 137 in a 9. This one has a really good centering, though. Could get a 10 on it. Of course, you also want to check out the back, but I don't have time to look at every single back of all the non hollows. Dark Electrode. Dark Flareon. Another massive hitter. We still haven't pulled a Vaporeon, though. Number 35 in the set. $275 last sold in 10. And there's our Ponyta. Moving into our common cards now. We got a Magnemite. Even though they're common, they're still big hitters. There's, I mean, price wise, every single card in this set in a 10 has a lot of value. Dratini to go with your Dragonair. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't even say it. What are the odds, guys? <laughs> what are the odds, chat? We got the Dratini. We got the Dragonair. This happened before. Is this going to be Groundhog's Day in the cave? We got a Ratata. Ratata, -ta -ta, as we say in the Polka Cave. We got a coughing. Drowsy. I kind of want everybody to spam Dragonite in the chat again. I kind of want I, I kind of want that to happen again. Could you imagine? I mean, it, it's possible. For those of you who don't know, you can pull multiples of the same hollow from a booster box. So you could get two Dark Dragonites out of this box. We got one. And that was actually the last hollow we pulled. And that was a while ago. Maybe there's another one. Maybe there's another one. Maybe there's a Charizard. Oh, it's the Eevee. Okay, that's another really good common. All the Eevees, though, are off left to right, which is kind of annoying. For some reason, the Eevees. Okay. You guys are doing it. All right. Summon either a Dragonite or a Charizard. If we get the Charizard, we'll make up for the last one for the evolution line. All right. Let's do it, Poke Cave. Wait, did you get a Charmander too? I forget. Okay. No, 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 you didn't. All right. Oh, it's the Dark Golbat non hollow. Man, we are low on hollows right now. I'm going to tell you guys seriously, there are a lot of hollows waiting for us at this point because we only pulled three. Number 24. Dark Golbat, $96 last sold in a 10, 41 to 9, not the biggest hitter. Uh, but again, the commons definitely help out quite a bit, especially when you got stuff like Dark Charmillions in here. Um, Larion, Dragonair, Dratini. So I'm going to sleeve these all up really quickly here. I'll just take a second. Um, and then we're going to move on to our next person. Yo, Robert, I appreciate you jumping in. I'm sorry we couldn't get you at least one hollow out of here. Man, this is crazy box, though. All right, so I got to know how many packs we opened up because I really want to know what the odds are. I think we might be at one and two odds at this point or, or, or very close because this is getting kind of crazy, Poke Cave. It happens once in a while because we mix up, we shuffle up all the packs, so you never know what you're going to get um, in any sort of particular order whatsoever. It gets rid of all of, like, the box mapping if there ever was anything like that, which you never know. Okay, Robert... Thank you for jumping in. And we move on in a second. We opened up 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We opened up 16 packs. 16 packs. 20 packs remaining. We're at we're at about one in one in every two packs should have a hollow moving forward. Uh there should be nine hollows remaining. There's 20 packs, so. Just about one and two. That's going to be nuts. The rest of this box is going to be crazy. So if you guys are just getting here right now, you're literally here at the perfect time. You're literally here at the perfect time. Because one out of every two of these packs ratio is going to be hollows. 
let's go. If you're still in this, your odds are like super high right now. 50% shot that your pack is going to have a hollow. Flip of a coin. Vincent V, 6310. You got one single pack. Let's see if we can get our hollow number four. And that is the last pack on the left side. All right, left side. Let's get some left side last pack magic. Vincent V, best of luck. Josh Horton in the cave as well. What's going on, dude? Good to see you. Somebody said, imagine the last nine packs are just stacked. It's very possible. It is very possible. All right. Vincent. Oh, starting strong with the dark war turtle. Looking really good as well in the front. Number 46 in the set. Our first uncommon. And it is last sold yesterday. $205 on PWCC auctions. Dark Persian. Not bad. Number 42. I think that one it was about 100 85 in a 10. Dark Primate, where you been? First one of the day. Number 43, 75 in a PSA 10. Got a Mankey. Got a Voltorb. Oh, yeah, I watched every Saturday morning. Um, J R Y D E R 32. Every morning, Saturday morning cartoons. Get up early and watch Pokemon in the morning. I'd sit on the floor. We had like a, like this. Tiny TV on the floor. We'd sit there and watch. Man, that was cool. That was cool. And you'd see the whole series. Like, every episode was new. We didn't have the internet to look up everything. So, it was just always a shock what was going to happen next. Every week. Got to dig it. Sleep. Squirtle! Big hitter! Going with your Dark War Turtle. And you guys already know what we got to summon. So, you might as well just start spamming the chat right now. Let's go. Squirtle, by the way, last sold. I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, but it last sold yesterday for $444 on PWCC auctions in a PSA 10. So check this out, though. Squirtle, Dark War Turtle. It's time for Blastoise Hollow, guys. Spam the chat, Blastoise. Let's summon a Blastoise Evolution line for this pack. And a Dratini. All right. Really good pack right now. Dark War Turtle, Squirtle, Dratini. Um, let's get it. Magnemite, final card. Let's summon a Blastoise right now. Last sold in the 10 for 4,500, 4,650 to be exact, two days ago. I think there's a Blastoise in here. Oh, Dark Alakazam, another non hollow hit. We got this one in a hollow earlier today, but man, Dark Alakazam, last pack on the left side. And Dark Alakazam is number 18 in the set. $177 last sold uh, yesterday on auction in a 10 and 102 in a 9. So, we did get the Dratini, another really nice hitter there. The Squirtle is a massive hitter as well. Uh, we also got the Dark War Turtle, another really big hitter here. Um, we got Sleep, Diglett. We also got the Voltorb. Hey, you know what? I didn't even realize, but we did just do the... We did this evolution line too. Not the craziest one, but still cool to get both of them. Mankey and Dark Primeape. And then we got the Dark Persian. So I'll tell you what, Poke Cave. The right side is going to be stacked. There's no other way around it. The right side of this box is going to be stacked. So if you're just tuning in right now, we've only opened up three hollows out of this entire box. There still should be nine hollows. Now, some of you might think, how do you know? Like, what's going on here? Why are there not more hollows? Well, Sometimes it just goes down in the poke cave. That's just how it goes. And right now, this right side, I can see smoke. See the smoke coming off of these packs? The right side, I'm telling you, poke cave. That's where it ended up tonight. So, Vincent, I'm sorry we couldn't pull you a hollow out of there. You got some really good non hollows though. Right side, though. We're going to start off with our first person. Matthew L, 6311, with one single pack. And it's the Jesse and James. We've got, I think we have 19 packs remaining. Nine hollows. Remaining. Should, roughly nine. I can't say exactly nine, but those are, the, those are the pull rates. One and three. It's not always exact. Um, but those are the pull rates, roughly. Are you ready? Second half of the Rocket Box. 
Matthew L. This is about to get crazy, Poke Cave. Starting off with a challenge uncommon. We got a full heal energy. Dark Gloom. Three uncommons. Dark Gloom number 36. Sold for about 93 yesterday in a PSA 10. But a drowsy. A coughing. Rat ta 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 ta. Goop gas attack. Number 78 in the set. Still for a trainer. Selling for $121 yesterday in a PSA 10. Meowth. That's right. Eevee. A really good hit as well. Oh, we're back. Actually, yes. We're back on center. Yes. All right. Man, our other Eevees were way off. This one's way better. So if this were to come back at 10, 55 in the set. Last sold for $226 in a PSA 10. Finally, we're back on point with the Eevees. For some reason, all our Eevees were off center. All right, Poke Cave. It is time. Let's pull Charizard. Dark file. <laughs> no. Another not hollow. I, is it going to be like nine hollows in a row? Poke Cave? This is my this might be what it is. Can you believe that? Dark Vile Plume non hollow number 30. $74 in a PSA 10. Last sold. 41 in a 9. We got the Eevee though. Don't lose faith now, Poke Cave. Do not lose faith quite yet. Where'd my chat go? It just disappeared. Come back, chat. Where'd my chat go? Are you kidding? Chat just vanished. Where are you, chat? Literally just disappeared. What the? What the? Hold on a second. Where did my chat go? You guys just vanished. I hope we're still live. Okay, I gotta pull up my stream on something else. What the heck? Just vanished into thin air. Okay, we're still live apparently. Good. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep up the chat over here on the right side then. On my, I'm watching my own stream on, on YouTube. Okay. I don't know what happened, but uh, my YouTube s live stream software literally just says nothing now. No chat. None. It says nobody's here. Uh, but I can still see you guys in the main thing. I can still see that I'm live. So, uh, weird. All right. Keep it going. YouTube, fix the bugs. I lost everything. I can still see my chat. It's a lot harder to see, but I can still see you guys. I can see you. All right. Sleeping these up. We're going to move on to our next person. Where'd we go? Says Nate. <laughs> Hopefully it comes back. All right. So, going in for Matthew. Man, that was weird. Hopefully it comes back. Can't open packs up by myself. All right, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. All right, we're still good. We're going to move on to our next person here. Uh, I think 18 packs left. Poke Cave. Which is crazy to me. There still should be around 9 hollows left. Uh, we've got Stephen H. 6312 with one pack. We're at about 1 and 2 odds right now. Of pulling a hollow. Steven, best of luck. <laughs> Angel says you can't see me. Alright. Why do you want to open up weird pack? Anyway, if you guys are just tuning in right now. You really aren't the best part. Well, besides that one god pack that we had. But other than that, we're about to get an army of hollows right now in the cave. It's about to get insane. Starting off with a Dark Muck Uncommon. We got a Full Heal Energy. Porygon. Man, these went way off center all of a sudden. All three of our Uncommons all of a sudden just went way off. Back on track with our Commons. We got a Grimer nicely centered. An Eevee. Massive hitter. Nice centering as well. Back on track with that one. Around 225 out of 10 on that card. Last sold in PSA 10. Uh, oh, we got Alien in the chat. Okay. That's all I'm going to say is aliens here. We got a Zubat. Abra. Alien. Oh, there he is. Charmander. 
Awesome hit here. Number 50. I should remember this by now. 310 last sold yesterday on auction. Radicate. Alien. Come on, man. Shoot the lasers and the space dust down on this back. Dark wheezing. It's a non hollow again. Poke cave. We're about to get nine hollows in a row in this thing. Man. Dark wheezing non hollow out of that pack. I can't believe it. I don't think we've ever been on a dry spell this long before. But luckily, the Charmander saving the day. Looking really clean. Uh, again, PSI 10 on that one could be about 300 less sold just yesterday. Abra is another really good one. Uh, we're going to put all these into penny sleeves because at this point, all these cards... It's just crazy value um, for the non hollows. Eevee going in. Um, Grimer. Porygon. For some reason, though, our uncommons in this pack were really off center. That was weird. We haven't seen any quite like that. All right. Poke Cave. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. We've been here before. We've been here before, Poke Cave. We got this. We got this. Odds, I've never seen odds like this before, but our odds right now are better. They are better than one and two at this point. Andre G, you are up next. 63, 13, Poke Cave, get ready for the craziest rest of the packs. I know I said it earlier, but it really has to be like any second now. Andre G, 63, 13. You are up next. YouTube studio is like, nope, nothing. Nobody's here. Callum, what's going on? Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Giovanni's eyes on that box are just daring us to pull his R. Dude, he's got the look. He's got the look. Uh, Troy, I will check that as well. Thank you so much. Um, Pokey DJ in the house. Yo, what's going on? Yo, opened up an Ultra Prism box for YouTube. Got, woo, the Leafeon. Dude, congrats. Let's go. All right. Kevin throwing in code cards in the chat as well. Oh, uh, Steven as well. We're opening up the next OG box next Tuesday. Stick around to the end of this if you want to see what the next opening is going to be as well. Let's go. Andre. Best of luck. Now I have to pull up my chat over here. It's so weird now. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Three from the back. This is it. We're getting back on track right now. Andre with the dark. Kadabra hit. Number 39 in the set. Last sold for $183. December 28th. Just yesterday in a PSA 10. Dark May Poria. There it is. Oh, man. It took long enough. Beautifully centered card as well. Number 45 in the set. Our first one sold for $250 yesterday. PWC auctions in a PSA 10. 86 in a, in a 9 a couple weeks ago. Can we get another banger? Oh, man. We got the best lineup of uncommons that we've had so far in the cave for one person from one pack. Dude, you cannot tell me that is not fire. Dark Charmeleon in a 10 is also a $500 card. Last sold yesterday. PWCC. We got an Abra. Nice hitter to go with your Dark Kadabra. Dude, that is a really good lineup. We got an Ekans. We got a Psyduck. That's still a good one. And a Charmander. This is our time, Poke Game. Charmander. Last sold. I think it was 300 in a PSA 10. Dude, that thing is on point. Look at that centering. Oh, man. We got another crazy pack. Charmander. Dark Charmeleon. Just start spamming Charizard right now, chat. It's time to summon a Charizard out of here to complete this evolution line. We got the Dark Vaporeon. We got the Dark Kadabra. We even got the Abra, the Charmeleon, the Charmander. Machop. There's a slow poke. It is time. We got eradicate. Let's complete the evolution line. Come on, Charizard. Oh, we'll take a Gyarados though. Hollow, finally. Hallelujah. Oh man. Finally, our fourth hollow in the cave out of this first edition rocket booster box. Man. It is about time. Dark. Gyarados, another card that I was really hoping to pull out of here. First edition stamped, 
Hollow, one pack magic for Andre G. Cave, it is already starting to get heated up right now. It is time to start pulling out hollows like you have never seen before with the pull ratio. It is time. This is the start of the hollows. I'm telling you, Cave. We are beyond overdue for a massive amount of hollow hits. The dark Gyarados. And yes, that's how I say Gyarados. <laughs> I don't know. I say some Pokemon names. This is how I've always said them. So, I'm not changing. <laughs> That's how I say them. But, okay, we got a little bit of whitening, though, on this card. So, this isn't the best hollow condition that we've seen out of this box. So, this is probably looking closer to a 9, just based off a couple things that I'm seeing. Um, let's check out the hollow, though. Let's check the hollow out. There is a print line right here. This is more like a 9 card. But the Dark Gyarados... Let's check that out. Let's see our last sold prices. Again, courtesy of Julian uh, throwing in the pricing data, which is absolutely insane. Uh, again, like this would be a completely different type of opening if Julian didn't take the time to go through and do all the pricing on these. Um, it really, uh, it's really awesome. It really helps out to see what we're looking at here um, on the fly. I have it up right on the screen so I can see everything. But the Dark Charizard, or Dark Charizard, Dark Gyarados, uh, last sold. 910 I don't think this would be a 10 but the last nine you're looking at about almost three hundred dollars in a nine But I mean that was literally just the cherry on top because I'm gonna show you the non hollows Really quickly as I'm sleeping them up. So the Charmander last sold in a 10 uh, For three hundred dollars the dark Charmillion last sold for 500 in a PSA 10 just yesterday and These are super up-to-date Psyduck is another really good one a couple more Abra's pretty sick, though. I like the artwork on the Abra. I always liked that as a kid. Uh, the Dark Kadabra is a massive hitter. I forget. This one was in a 10, like a couple hundred, I think, or something. And then the Dark Vaporeon, our first one of the day. Looking beautiful. I mean, literally the first one that we pulled out of this booster box. Uh, Dark uh, Vaporeon. 250 in a 10, 90 in a 9. I would say that was a really good pack. That was a top pack tonight, too. Going in for Andre. All right, Cave, let's get ready. Oh, and since we got a hollow hit, I'm going to tell you guys right now something um, very important. So this is for everybody that hangs out for each stream. It's a little extra something. You get more entries for a giveaway that I'm doing here. Um, all you have to do is go down below in the description. It is the second or third link there. It says, enter for a chance to be one of 18 winners. Um, all you have to do is click that link. Go down there, and you can enter through a whole bunch of different ways, and it tracks every single entry that you do, uh, depending on what action you take on there. So click that link right now down there. But before you click it, I'm going to tell you today's code. Uh, what is today's code again? It is... Oh, this is today's code. Last Pack Magic. Caps Lock. No spaces. I'll type it in the chat so you guys can see it. Type that in as one of the other entries for the YouTube code. I give them out every single stream. So if you stick around, you get to hear some of the codes for en more entries. That's another five entries for that. But it is Last Pack Magic. Oh, wait, that's not caps. Last Pack Magic. Which I feel like we're going to get today. Last Pack Magic. Giveaway code for today's stream. Five Gives you five more entries and every stream code gives you another five that you hear. Uh, so if you stick around during streams, you'll hear them once a stream. But next up, we've got the one and only Tyler P. 6314. That is some good timing, Tyler. I will tell you right now to get three packs. Because we only pulled four hollows out of here so far. You got one, two, three. Tyler normally already has really good luck. But now the odds are with you on this. Three packs. Three of these packs for Tyler. It is going to get wild. And one other thing I want to tell you is that since you guys are all swarming over to the giveaway page, it's going to lag. It's going to be super slow. You got to like wait probably a minute or two minutes before you can even put the code in. Then put the code in, wait another minute or two. It's going to it's gonna lag. You guys are going to crash the website. <laughs> but hey, that's just how it goes, Pokemon Cave. All right, Tyler P. Guys, throw the luck in for Tyler as well. Good luck charm for the Tyler Army. Tyler P. representing the Tyler Army right now. Still looking for that Hollow Dark Blastoise. The Hollow Dark Charizard. We're also looking for um, the Magneton Hollow. Uh, the Secret Rare Raichu. I mean, there's a lot. There's so much. 
Dark Loom to start it off. Nice! Dark War Turtle. But we got another pack with the Uncommons that are off-center. That's the second time that's happened. So, it seems like all these Uncommons are going to be PSA 9s at best, unfortunately. Yeah, for sure. Two off, top to bottom for the 10. But then we go right back on point with our common Slowpoke. Got him a chop. Mankey the Monkey. Dark Radicate. Diglett! Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig. Trio, trio. Voltorb. Squirrel! Massive hitter. Beautifully centered. 68 out of 82. What was that again? It was a lot. It was like... Last sold... Oh, man. Last sold yesterday, PWCC, for $444 and $102 in a 9. Man. Hopefully this one comes back at 10 for you. Boom! There it is! Two hollows in a row! It is that time. The fire in the cave is alive. The dark, slow bro hollow. You can see a Team Rocket grunt in the background there. We got two hollows in a row now, cave. I'm telling you, the right side is the magic side today. Dark, slow bro. Hollow hit. Now we're up to five hollows, just like that. Back to back. The odds are looking really good right now. All right. Dark Slow Bro, number 12 in this set. Hollow Dark Slow Bro still has sold for $490 a couple weeks ago on PWCC and about $200 in a nine. Dark Slow Bro is hollow hit number one for Tyler. Man, it is really possible that Tyler could go 3-3. Three and three. This one's definitely off-center a bit. Left to right. Back is pretty clean. I see a tiny dot up there, though. Probably a 9 on this one. Alright, it's a hollow, though. And it goes... Nicely with this pack. You got a Squirtle. Um, Non-hollow, which is... Actually, I think that is the most expensive common you can get in this set. It's even more than Charmander. Right, these are going in. We're going to move on to your second pack here in a second, Tyler. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys have sent me super chats. It's really tough for me to see them because my YouTube studio literally just like crashed. And basically that lets me see everything that's going on. So I'm doing it like a different way. Um, but I appreciate the support, everybody. Um... Alex R with the super chat as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for the great stream. Uh, which site to use for past sales to know the up-to-date prices? So uh, just check out eBay. Go to sold listings. You can type in what you're looking for. Click sold, and you can see all of the recent sales for the last three months on there. That's the best way to go about it. Uh, J C H I S E S I. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate the support. Um, let's go, Kevin P as well. Yo, I appreciate the support. Uh, J Jeremy as well. Thank you so much. Obscure openings, what's going on? Yo, I appreciate the support. Alan, yo! First one ever? Dude, I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Alright, let's go, Poke Cave. Let's get it, let's get it. Okay. Tyler, next pack. Let's see what we could do. We're gonna go with the Jesse and James pack. You got one for one. Will you go three for three? You got a decent shot right now at going three for three. Tom Kent, thank you so much for the super sticker. We got to turn our hat backwards like Ash Ketchum with that super sticker. That is the Ash Ketchum super sticker. Yo, Dustin, hey, I appreciate it. I will check that out as well. Thank you for the super chat. The boss's way to start it off. There we go. Our uncommons are looking better centered now. Magikarp. Another nice hit. We got a Dark Muck. Zubat. Got an Oddish. A Grimer. Ekans. Got an Abra. That's a nice one. Number 49 in this set. Abra's going for uh, $111 last sold. PWCC in a 10. And a Charmander. Number 50 to go with your Squirtle. Charmander last sold for about 300 in a PSA 10. And I think it was like, what was it? In the 9. I don't have nine data. Got a Psyduck. Another nice one. This one always seems to be like second to last before the rare. And then we got another hollow. Dark Arbuck. Two in a row. Actually, three in a row if you got the last person. This is exactly what we thought was going to happen now, Poke Cave. The right side is filled with hollows. And this one is actually really on point centering wise. This actually looks really good. 
There's a little bit of whitening though down there. Tiny dot there, but this is a dark Arbuck first edition stamped Team Rocket card from the year 2000. Arita artwork number two out of 82 in the set. Man. And if you want the evolution line, you got it. He's got the Ekans to go with it. Oop, like that. All right, Tyler, two for two now. Dark Arbuck. I will tell you this, it's definitely not the most valuable card in the set. Um, but let's see what it's worth. Number two. Last sold for $425 a couple weeks ago on PWCC in a PSA 10. So that's some pricing data for you. Got a dark Arbuck. Man, Tyler, you might go three for three. You're two for two right now. You are two for two. That's nuts. We knew this was going to happen, though, Poke Cave. For everybody that holds... That holds that faith for the for the hollow hits. And you hold out and you're patient. Sometimes you gotta wait till a little bit later in the opening. But this one in particular was weird. We start off super strong, and then all of a sudden we had like the longest dry spell of like non-hollow cards. Which was insane. But the right side is where the rest of those hollows are. We literally just got three hollows in a row. Two in a row for Tyler. I think we're up to about. Check this out. We got a smudge stamp. So it is possible to get out of a rocket box. I've never seen that before. We got a stamped card that actually has a smudge on it. So Tyler, make sure you check that one out. Uh, and this is good to see this stuff on camera. Uh, so for companies that grade like PSA, Beckett, CGC, um, if you are watching, you could see we got a smudge stamp straight out of a box. So it is possible um, in case anybody's ever wondering something like that. It's always good. You can see stuff documented here in the key, which is really cool to see. Especially when we get some super crazy errors and stuff like that. Uh, smudge stamped first ed. All right. Tyler. Can you go three for three, my friend? You got some crazy luck right now. You're two for two. Some people are saying, where's... Uh, he looks exactly like Yugi Rev. I don't know who that is. Some guy named Yugi Rev that opens up Yu-Gi-Oh cards here as well. If you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh openings, apparently. Apparently, he hangs out here a couple times a month. All right, Tyler. See a lot of questions in the chat. If you guys have a lot, if you have questions, make sure you check out down below in the description, the frequently asked questions link. It'll help you out there, give you answers to a lot of your questions uh, because we definitely have a new, a lot of new people in the cave. Actually, I'm curious. I want to, I want to see something. I want to see how many new people are here. If you're new, hit the subscribe button right now, and I want to see how many subscribers that jumps to. We're at about, right now we're at 212, 300, 212,300 right now. It'll probably take a couple minutes to fully update. I just want to see how many people will hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel right now that are new. And if you are new, also put a hashtag new in the chat, and all of the OGs here are going to welcome you here to the Poke Cave because everybody is always uh, welcome here in the cave. Dark Electrode. Got a dark, or not dark, a regular Magic Harp. Porygon. We got a Sleep. Abra. Let's see if we could do three for three hollows right now for Tyler. Be wild. It's very possible, though, with the amount of hollows that we pulled out of here so far. We got a lot of new people here blowing up the chat. Yo, welcome to the Poke Game, everybody. <laughs> I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, again, if you don't know me, my name is PokeRev. This is the Polka Cave, and we're doing Pokemon openings here live, like, constantly. Tuesdays, Sundays, all week content coming out. Um, and I hear if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, you can hang out here once in a while, too. And we just got a Charmander that I'm not even paying attention to. A $300 card in a PSA 10. Man. Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Slowpoke. And thank you to all of our OGs here that are welcoming all of the... New people here in the cave. I appreciate that. And a non-hollow Arbuck. All right. So you got two out of three packs. Had a hollow in it. The dark Arbuck now in non-hollow form. This one also has a... Look at that. You got another stamp that is smeared. I feel like I've never really seen that. Or if I have pulled any, I haven't noticed it until this box in particular. 
Hmm. Okay, so smudge stamped cards. I think somebody actually sent me an email a while ago that they had a smudge stamped like Squirtle, um, and I wasn't sure about it, but now we can be sure about it. Charmander. Nice. All right, I'm penny sleeving these up really quickly here. Um, and um, I'll check on that subscriber count in a couple minutes because it, it, it takes a while to update. It's weird. Sometimes it takes like five minutes, six minutes. All right, so Tyler pulling in two hollows out of three packs. And a really quick recap, Dark Electrode, Magikarp, Abra. We got that Charmander. Uh, boss's way, another magic carp. Grimer, Abra, another Charmander. Dark War Turtle was nice. And we got the Squirtle back there too. Alright. Going in for Tyler. So there still should be at least, I think, six at least six more uh hollows. Going in for Tyler. Woo! All right, we still got plenty of people left, plenty of packs left. If you guys are just tuned in right now, there still should be a lot of fire left in this thing. Like, seriously. We're actually catching up to the ratios now, though. We got six. We're still behind a little bit. But we're getting closer to the one and two pack ratio now. We're probably on right, up, right about there. We got Jason S up next, 63-15. But again, 1 and 2 is still a lot better than 1 and 3 odds. So, Jesse and James Pack are with Jason S. Best of luck if you're here. Um, let's see if we can get you some craziness, some epicness out of this pack here. And uh, we got Tina in the house. Says, yo, my alien just turned silver. Let's go. Rev, you're killing it. Thanks for sharing all these amazing openings. Yo, Tina, congrats. You got the silver alien. The Coveted Silver Alien. That's like third stage up, I think. Final evolution is the Rainbow Alien. Gold should be coming up any day now, too. We don't have any gold aliens, I don't think yet. Um, post happy streams. Yo, good evening. Uh, going Pika hunting for the New Year's Eve. Yo, that sounds sick. Good luck. Uh, let's get it. Jack in the house. Love your vids. Keep up the good work. Yo, Jack, much appreciate it. Uh, with the double super chat. Cody says, here comes the Zard. Let's get it. All right, so we're moving in on Jason S's pack right now, number 6315. Let's see what we can do out of one single pack. All right. The Heavy Packs crew tuned in with Trillix and D Halu card. Yo, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for the super chat. And Ellie as well. Ellie C with the super chat. Thank you so much for being here. The chats are set up so weird now. My YouTube... I'm glad the stream just didn't turn off because I can't see anything. I just keep switching pages. I'm watching... Okay. Nightly Garbage Run. Did we not hit that yet? I think maybe we did. Maybe we hit that once. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Nightly Garbage Run. Another one with the smeared stamp. Check that out. Interesting. This one has it as well. The Digger. Well, that's weird. So our three uncommons are all um, trainers. Got a slow poke. This is for Jason S. Machop. Come on. Got a Mankey. Dark Radicate. I really feel like this. So, uh, wait, actually, how many did we get? We got three in a row, right? No. And then the last one was a non-hollow. So we had three hollows, then a non-hollow. Um, and now we're going to see if we can hit a hollow. Volt Sorb. Squirtle! Big hitter! In a 10, again, sold for $440 or so. This one's off a little bit left to right. Might be right side out of the parameters for a 10, though, on this one. I think we're coming up on our final card. Oh, the Dark Blastoise! Yo, we'll take it. It is a non-hollow, but it's still a massive hitter, considering especially the condition of the non-hollow rares that we've been getting. This is our second one of the day. Dark Blastoise. Now, you might be thinking, man, that's not the hollow, but... The crazy thing about this is this just sold yesterday in a 10 for $510 on PWCC. And if you don't get the 10, a 9 still went for $245. It's still a really big hitter here uh, for one single pack. One of the biggest non hollows that you can get out of this. Definitely a top three for sure. Man, Dark Blastoise to go really nicely though with that Squirtle. 
Only missing the Dark War Turtle. Squirtle, though, to go with it is pretty epic. Close. We almost had the full evolution line on that one. We did have that, though, with uh, D Halu cards. Who got <laughs> D Halu card, man? That was nuts. Your two packs, even though they were non hollow the Dark Blastoise and the Dark Charizard. So we got two Dark Blastoise uh, in non hollow We got a Dark Charizard non hollow too. Which, if you're going to get a non hollow that's definitely one of the two. Of course, Dark Dragonite is a massive one as well. There's a couple other really big ones. Okay. You can still save the day with some good non hollow rares, non hollow commons, uncommons. Um, you can get a really stacked pack, though. Depending on your non hollows that you pull out of here. Well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, Poke Cave. We are moving. The rehydration station is running, starting to get a little bit lower. I think you guys broke the sub counter. I think you smashed the subscribe button too hard. We gotta wait a little bit for it to get fixed. In the meantime, though, let me get another sip. In the meantime, though, we're gonna open up some packs, or a pack, I should say, for the one and only Jarvis Johnson, 63-16, with one single pack. You were lucky last opening. You were very lucky on the last one. Got a really awesome Ente Hollow out of that Neo Revelation box, but Jarvis! Can we do something crazy again? The odds are definitely in your favor right now. And that goes for everybody else that's still in this opening. Um, I feel like the odds are probably about 1 and 2 at the moment. So 50% shot. The flip of a coin for a, a hollow card. So let's see what we can do for Jarvis here with the one single pack. Throw it in. Throw the luck in for Jarvis Johnson. Check him out on YouTube as well. Uh, really awesome guy. And Jano, thank you so much for the super chat. Saying that you just subscribed. Yo, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Polka Cave. Phoenix66 with the super sticker. Going Super Saiyan. Leveling up. Yo, I appreciate it. Jay Chimps as well. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yo, we got Chin Pokemon in the house. Those are some OG Pokemon. <laughs> the Chin Pokemon. Anybody remember those? <laughs> Anybody remember those? Alright. Jarvis. Chin Pokemon. I haven't heard that in so long. Chin Pokemon. Sock. What was the other one? <laughs> one of them was just a sock. Collect them all. Alright. Jarvis. Oh! <laughs> Started off with a massive hitter. The Dark. Jolteon, number 38 in the set. Going for $330. Still I sold yesterday on auction on PWCC in a 10. And in a 9. You're still looking at a card that is worth $150. <laughs> Man, that's, that's already amazing. Got a nightly garbage run, number 77. I'm going to go through all these. I'm curious. Uh, last sold for $121 in a PSA 10. That's a really nice one as well. Your, your uncommons, luckily, are looking really nicely centered too. And the Dark Vaporeon, the first person so far to get two evolutions in one pack. That is only the second Dark Vaporeon as well that we pulled tonight. Number 45 in the set. Going for about $250 last sold yesterday. And 86 in a 9. Jarvis. Already. With an insane start. With just the uncommons. Just the uncommons. Man, you almost had all three evolutions. Which is like close to impossible to make happen. We got a Meowth. Number 62. Last sold for $147 on auction yesterday. The Coughing. Number 58. Coughing. $111 in a 10. Goop Gas Attack, number 78 in the set. Last sold for $121 yesterday on auction on PWCC. rat -ta 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 -ta. number 66. It's only a rat -ta -ta, but it's still going for about $70 last sold in a 10. Grimer, number 57. The corrected version, $158 just sold yesterday in a 10. Jarvis, we're getting closer. Oh, are we going to do it? Are we going to pull you with the Charizard? We got an Eevee to go with your evolutions, dude. You literally are the Eevee brothers right now. All you're missing is the Flareon. The one dude with like the fire hair. Uh, you got number 55 Eevee. I think this sold in a 10 for like 250. Number 55. Yeah, 226 last sold yesterday on auction. Yo, 
you almost had all the evolutions. This is probably as close as anybody can get to all the evolutions. I mean, to get all... I've never seen any pack in my life that had all three evolutions in the uncommon, uncommon slot. But those are just your uncommons and your commons. We're going to be coming up on your rare in just a second. You got an Oddish, number 63, last sold in a 10 for $84, PWCC Auctions. Pat calling it right now, the Dark Raichu. All right. That would be pretty nice. That would be really nice. Oh, it's a Dark Dragonite, but okay. It's a non-hollow, but it is still a massive, massive hitter for Jarvis. Number 22, the Dark Dragonite. Non-hollow just sold yesterday for $355 in a PSA 10. And that thing is looking clean on the front so far. And even if it doesn't get a 10, a 9 sold a couple weeks ago on PWCC for $190, almost $200. So at a minimum, a $200 card or up to $350 in a 10 for this non-hollow dark Dragonite. Man, has a couple, a, a couple little white spots up there. So you might be looking at a 9. But either way, dude, uh, I think like <laughs> I think like 75% um, of your cards were big, like massive hitters. Like that's nuts. Like that is nuts, dude. The Dark Dragonite, definitely like a top three for a non-hollow. Like the Charizard, the Dragonite, and the Blastoise, top three that you're gonna be. And this has, a, yeah, this has a little bit of a smudge stamp too. It's like it's soup, like not as smudge as the other ones, but you can see like a tiny bit. But there it is. If PSA is watching this or anybody, uh, you can see it right here, straight out of the pack. Um, so let's see what else you got. Let's look at all your big hitters because you had a lot. I'm just gonna pull the big hitters here and I'm gonna show you. But realistically, like any single card in this set that comes back in a PSA 10, even a lot of them in a nine, which for non hollows nines are really not hard to get at all from Pack Fresh. All right, all right, all right. Check this out. Check this out, check this out, check this out. That's the first Dark Dragonite non-hollow that we pulled. We did pull the hollow. All right, so I would say like your biggest non-hollow hits were really these evolutions and the Eevee. Like check that out, that is sick. You got the regular Eevee. That looks like the one from the, the, the episode too with like the hair like that. It has like a little bit of a different style to it. The Dark Vaporeon and the Dark Jolteon. You're only missing the Flareon from this set, which is actually insane to get out of one pack. But not only that, you got the Dark Dragonite non-hollow. These are all first edition stamped as well. If you guys are just tuning in right now, first edition Team Rocket Booster Box from the year 2000. Circle Tunes in the house as well. Let's go. Wait a second. That's not the error one, is it? I forgot. I completely forgot to check that. Number 22. Oh my heart for a second i completely forgot to check if it was the error so you guys don't know there is an error version where they have the non-hollow but it has the hollow number on it uh this is if it was the error you would have seen my seat has rockets on the bottom of it the rockets would have just started igniting and i would just shoot up through the sky and you would never see me again but anyway still an amazing hit completely forgot to even look but i think it comes out of the uncommon slot if you do get that error on the dragonite I'm pretty sure. But actually, I really don't know. But anyway, Jarvis, no hollow, but you got some crazy non hollows out of there. Crazy non hollow rare as well. All right, Poke, we're still going. We're still moving. We still got plenty left to see out of this booster box. Um, probably the craziest rocket booster box I've really ever opened here. Just. It's just been like a roller coaster for this one. But we got Jonathan B up next. 6317 who says, Give me three. Well, you shall get three. The Gyarados. The Gyarados. And the Giovanni. We'll make a Giovanni sandwich. Two slices of Gyarados. And a Giovanni. All right. Three packs, Polka Cave, for Jonathan B. And they put the stamp on this side for... It depends on where the artwork is. Because uh, there's actually a Charizard, if you guys never saw right there. I think it's the old style sort of version. But anyway... Enough chit chat. Jonathan B, best of luck. First pack. The Gyarados pack artwork. Let's get it. Um, also want to say what's up to PBK Reviews. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, my friend has a sealed 10 pack base booster blister from Costco. Oh, those are sick. I know exactly what you're talking about. They're stacked up right in the middle. 
He was wondering what it's worth. Also, if you'd be interested in it, he wants to avoid selling on eBay. Keep up. Feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I really don't know what they're worth. There's, I'll tell you this. They're incredibly rare. I've only seen two people with them, maybe three at the most um, in the last five years. Slaughter Films in the house as well with the Super Chats. Appreciate the support. George back at it. Uh, yo, you're blessing up the packs. Let's go. Bless up the last packs. Happy holidays to all in the Poke. Yo, I appreciate it. Um, all right, let's go. Jonathan. First pack of three. How many hollows can we get out of three? Guys, put it in the chat right now. Put a hashtag zero, hashtag one, hashtag two, or hashtag three to guess how many hollows Jonathan is going to get out of their three packs. And we're starting off with an imposter, Professor Oak. It's revenge, and I actually like this card. I don't like the one from base set, though, but I like this one. This one is sick. Um, and they put it in the uncommon slot, which is good to see. Um, all right, so, Poke Cave. I think this one's about 150 and a 10, but I, I do think that this is another pack with the uncommons all center top to bottom, so it would not get a 10. Uh, there's been like three or four packs like that randomly, which is kind of weird. Um, we got the Potion Energy and the Dark Gold Duck. Looks like we're getting centered better now, which is maybe that one on the front. But a Dark Gold Duck, number 37, going for about $314 in a PSA 10 last sold yesterday. You guys are putting your guesses in. I'm going to go with two as well. I'm feeling like the luck is going to be on your side right now, Jonathan. The odds are definitely. Got a Diglett. Dratini. Nice hit. Number 53. Last sold in a 10. $477. We got a Drowsy. Number 54 in this set. Still $112 card in a 10. Goop gas attack. We got a Zubat. Ekans. We got a Machop. Final card. Douglas says, is there, is there such a thing as too many hollow hits? You can never have too many hollow hits. Here comes Team Rocket. 71, a non-hollow version. This one's actually really hard to tell if it's hollow sometimes. What is up with that Meowth, though? Do you see this? There's, like, ink splatter on this card. Like, right there. That doesn't normally look like that. Here comes Team Rocket. With like an ink splatter on our Meowth. That's interesting. Alright, so non holo number 71 in the set. Uh, about $91 in a PSA 10. I don't have any 9 data. This one though has a tiny dot of whitening on the top there. Just certain things you want to look out for when you're grading a card. The centering is actually pretty good. It's a tiny bit off left to right. Uh, top to bottom is looking good though. So that was our first pack though. We still got two more for Jonathan. So, still have a shot at two hollows. And of course, uh, even with non hollow rares, we did get a non hollow Charizard today earlier, which last sold prices on those were between $2,000 and $2,500 for the non hollow, which is crazy. So, like, if you open up a rocket pack, even if you don't get a hollow, you get the Blastoise, you get the Dragonite, you get the Charizard especially. Still crazy. <laughs> Eric Hart? Oh yeah, the Arrow Meowth. <laughs> Alright, pack number one. Next pack is coming up. Poke Cave. Oh, and the subscriber count updated. I didn't even check, but thank you so much. Tons of new people subscribing to the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you for subscribing. All right, Poga Game. Giovanni. For Jonathan. Pack number two. If you guys did not enter the giveaway yet, make sure you do. Link is down below in the description. It's the third link down. Click that. Do all the different ways to enter. Uh, there's a ton of different ways to enter that giveaway. Still got plenty of time left if you want to jump in on it. Tons of different things uh, that are getting given out. And we got a Dark Gold Duck to start it off. Nice card. Uh, PSA 10 last sold for a little bit over $300 on PWCC just the other day on this card. We got a Potion Energy. Dark Primate. Those are our three uncommons. There's your Mankey. Back to back. Mankey to Dark Primate. We'll take it. The Dark Radicates. Diglett Dig. 
This is a, this is a crazy... Like, there's a massive diglet taking over the town. There's even a car that's, if you can see that, flipping over. Got a Voltorb. Squirtle! Massive hitter again! You cannot have too many Squirrels or Charmander. Last of this in a 10. $444 just yesterday. PWCC. Really good hit. Sleep. Magnemite. I feel like there's a Charizard back here. What do you guys think? Oh! Hollow hit! Rainbow Energy. Not even going to take a second. I got to put this in the sleeve and tell you guys all about this card. Because it actually is crazy. Believe it or not. This is a Rainbow Energy Hollow. That already looks really good just from the centering. Looks actually pretty much spot on. This card is extremely difficult to grade in a 10. Because there is such a huge amount of hollow on this thing. Right? So you have more sort of opportunities for print lines to come up. But if you somehow could grade this thing in a PSA 10... The Rainbow Energy is one of the most difficult to grade. Last sold for $2,000 just a few weeks ago in a 10. Um, this one, Rainbow Energy. Only 81 of these exist in a PSA 10. It is the second most difficult hollow card to grade in a PSA 10. Centering is looking really good. The back does have a couple white dots on the two corners on the top. Now, I'm going to tell you guys before we look at this. There's a really really high chance that there's going to be a couple print lines but we're going to see right now i'm going to do my best to see is there no print lines holy cow do you guys see any i don't think i see any at all there's like some weird like it's not a print line um see it right there it's like bulging sort of like i don't know what to call that See that right there? That's weird. Um, it's like an imperfection in like the cardboard or something. Man, but there's no print lines. Why does that have to be there? Dude. I don't think I've ever seen a Rainbow Energy without print lines. That's crazy. Dang, that thing is clean. That front of this thing is nice. Except for that tiny weird thing right there. Dang, that's clean on the front. And the, uh, the only other thing though is these two white things on the top. That'll probably hold it back. I don't know. If you look at the front of this, this might be the cleanest front rainbow energy that I've really ever seen. But that weird bump thing, it's like a... I've never seen that before. Um, and these are like on the sleeve, by the way. I always forget to tell you guys. But like, you see that stuff right here? Like, that's on the sleeve. I just have really weird sleeves. And like, they're just weird. Like, see that? That's all on the sleeve. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, dude. Rainbow energy first edition. I would actually probably send that to Beckett. That is a 9.5 candidate for sure. Maybe maybe even higher. Um man. Okay, second pack with the Rainbow Energy first edition uh stamp. But don't forget, you also had a bunch of other non-hollow cards, like the Squirtle, for instance, which was looking really good as well. Um So here he is. That's a I think that's the most expensive common card in the set. In a 10 at $440. All right, so, no, unfortunately, there's no Bulbasaur in this set. Could you imagine a Bulbasaur and, like, a Dark Ivysaur and a Dark Venusaur? Man, that would have been too cool. And the Golduck is actually a massive hitter, too. Over 310. Um, dude, that's sick. That's a sick artwork. It's almost It almost looks like the same scene as the Shining Gyarados in the sea. Um, but Jonathan... You've got one more pack here. I gotta grab some sleeves. You guys are like going through sleeves like crazy. There we go. Alright, we got we got the sleeves. We got the sleeves. So, Jonathan, you got one more pack. You're one for two. Could we go two for three? Can we go two for three for Jonathan right now? Let's find out. Let's find out if we can do it. Um, and J Chimps, thank you as well for the super chat. What is the process of getting a pack to get opened up? Um, also joining up on the membership brings me back to YouTube page. Uh, so yes, 
uh, Jay Chips, check out the frequent last questions. It'll give you all the information. But just really quickly, if you guys stick around to the end of this opening, I'm going to announce what we're opening up on next Tuesday. As soon as I show it on the screen, you can head over to thepokecape.com and pre-order packs if you're interested in purchasing them to get opened up on Tuesday. Usually, that's how it works if you wait till the end. There's also a membership-only um, opening that we do once a month that you can check out all on the frequently asked questions page in the link down below. But Jonathan, you got pack number three up. <clears throat> Actually losing my voice on this one. This is crazy. The, and and uh, there still should be, what, maybe like three, maybe four more hollows? Oh, I lost track. All right. Jonathan B. Starting off with a nightly garbage run. We got the Digger. Let's see if we get a Pokemon as our third uncommon. Dark Kadabra, nice, but we also got a pack that was off center on the uncommons again. That's like maybe the fifth or sixth time that's happened. Where the top is like way thicker than the bottom. Still a really nice card, but it won't get a PSA 10 just based off of that alone. Got a Mankey. A Sleep. Got the Magnemite. Man, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, watching the video. Um, I really appreciate the support from everyone. You got a Meowth. You guys are the ones that makes these videos a ton of fun to do. These streams, hanging out with all of you in the chat. Uh, but let's go. We got a Psyduck. And last pack magic. Yo! Dark Blastoise! Oh, man! One of the biggest hitters tonight! Holy cow! The Dark Blastoise is in the cave! Ladies and gentlemen, that is some last pack magic. Jonathan B. just hit a massive home run. I was hoping we were going to see this. Oh, man. Guys, this is a top three card, top four card at the very, very least in this set. The Dark Blastoise Hollow. I'm not even. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what the last sold price is on this. The last sold price for the Blastoise was four thousand six hundred and fifty dollars in a PSA ten on PWCC, and over six hundred in a PSA nine. The Dark Blastoise. I can't believe we actually hit this thing. Because the odds of hitting this is about 1 in 18 because there's 18 hollows. So you're not guaranteed to pull this. You're not guaranteed to pull the Dark Dragonite. We pulled both of those. But the Dark Blastoise. You see a swirl at the bottom there right behind the tail. It's like a mini swirl. The Dark Blastoise. Yo, quick shout out to Blastoise93 if you're watching this. Man, we got him. I don't think this one is going to be a 9 quality based off of the centering being off a little bit top to bottom and a couple of white dots on the corners. Um, and let's check out the hollow. Let's just appreciate this hollow up close. I'm going to take it halfway out the sleeve like that. Hold the bottom there. Man, but I got to say, this one, the rainbow energy one as well, no print lines that I can see. That is clean. Look at that. This is what we wanted as kids. We were just going for hollows back in the day. I mean, that was it. I mean, you might want to send this to Beckett for a 9.5 shot, honestly. It's really clean. There's no print lines. The centering is a little bit off, and there's a little bit of whitening on the corners, but, like, you might be looking at a 9.5, honestly. I don't think you'll hit the 10 on this one. But maybe, like, shoot for a 9.5 with Beckett, possibly. Um... Man, that is nice. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be a PSA 10. You got two for three, though. That's the odds on the right side here of this booster box. Let's do a recap here for Jonathan. Pulling out two hollow hits. Woo. Two hollow hits out of three packs. How do you decide to send the Beckett? Well, you can always send all your cards to Beckett, but I always say if you're definitely not looking at a PSA 10, but you think it's a PSA 9 candidate, maybe go for Beckett and go for the 9.5 because PSA doesn't offer a 9.5 grade. So it's like a little bit of a higher grade since PSA won't do it. PSA won't start the 0.5s until you get down to an 8.5, but they won't do a 9.5. But Beckett does, which is... You, you know, a 9.5 is a higher grade overall than a 9. So, 
Um, did we get the full evolution line, though? Let me check really quickly. I don't remember, because you had three packs here. If you got the Squirtle and the Dark War Troll. You got the Squirtle. You got the Golduck. Okay, you didn't get the full evolution line. Um, but you did get a Squirtle to go with it as well, so that's pretty sick. Uh, so check this out. The two big hollows. The Dark Blastoise. And the Rainbow Energy. Two hollows out of three packs. We gotta get the Charizard now. We got the Dark Dragonite. The big three in this set, in my opinion, is the Dark Charizard, the Dark Dragonite, and the Dark Blastoise. We got two of the three. But of course, there are other cards that are definitely worth a ton and could definitely be in your top three, like the Secret Rare Raichu, the Magneton. There's a ton more. There's 18 total. So, these are going in. Moving on to the next person. In this opening, we still are on the, the, the hunt here for the Charizard, though. Now, we did get the non-holo, which is a, still a really big hit. Value-wise, the most expensive non-holo. We want to get a holo version of it, too. We want to see if we can get as close to a perfect box as we can. With all the big hitters. Abraham Z, you're up next. 63, 18. And you actually got two packs. Two. And we have two, three, four, five, six. We have eight more packs left. So we got about a quarter of this box remaining. Two of them are going out to Abraham Z. Best of luck here. Starting off with the Gyarados pack. Will we get it? Will we get the Charizard out of here? Let's find out together, Polka Cave. All right, let's go. All right. Um, so, Ibrahim, first pack. Three from the back. Two shots at hollows. Abraham, first pack. Start with the Jolteon. One of the evolutions. A massive way to start this pack off. An uncommon. If you were to pull this in a 10, and luckily our uncommons are looking really nicely centered so far on this pack. Uh, one of the biggest uncommons you could pull out of here. But the uh, Dark Jolteon. Where am I at? $330 last sold in a 10 yesterday. And $152 in a 9 last sold. PWCC. Let's get another evolution. Dark Primate, not bad. Number 43 in this set. $75 and a 10. And a Dark Vaporeon. We've done it again. Two of the evolutions of the three. Wow. 45. The Dark Vaporeon. That one is $250 and a 10. Last sold yesterday. 86 and a 9. All right. That is a really good way to start this off for your two packs. And a Magnemite. Dratini. Big hitter. I think this one's about 125 and a 10, if I recall correctly. The Drowsy. We got a Ponyta. We've got a Radita. We got a Coughing. And our first pack for Ibrahim will contain. Ooh, we got a Dark Gyarados. But check out that Smudge First Edition stamp on there. That's pretty crazy. Dark Gyarados, it is a non hollow though. Um, I wonder if PSA takes off for that or be or Beckett or anybody for the smudge stamp or if they keep it on there since it is from the factory. Uh, sort of like a factory error type thing. But 25 um, from Dark Gyarados. Non hollow actually went for about $200 yesterday in a 10 and 90 in a 9. Uh, so this one's probably a little too off center for a 10, top to bottom. It's probably looking at more like a 9 on that Dark Gyarados, so I'm going to sleeve these ones up really quickly because you got two of the evolutions. Oh, penny sleeve down. Penny sleeve down. You got two of the three. Let's see if your next pack can contain a Flareon and an Eevee. You get all four of them, which is pretty cool. Alright. 
the madness in the Poke Cave. I believe we still have seven more packs remaining. So this is lucky number seventh to last pack here. Let's see what we can do, Poke Cave. All right, moving on to our next pack for Ibrahim. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Got all of the artworks on here. Oh, beautiful. Squirtle right there. Save you for a little bit later. All right. Starting off with a Dark Muck. We've got a full heal energy. Dark Flareon! You got all three of them! Dude! Man! Nobody's done that. I mean, Jarvis had the two and the Eevee, but you got all three of the evolutions. All you need is the Eevee to get everybody. Dude, how sick is that? That is all three of them evolved. I really hope we get an Eevee in here, too. And uh, just so you guys know, pricing on this one, number 35 in this set. And it's 10 last sold yesterday. PWCC for $276 in a PSA 10. And the Squirtle, of course. Man, another massive one. Massive, massive hits for your um, non-hollows right now. Diglett. Come on, give us an Eevee. Ponyta. Got a Magnemite. Spanky says Charizard's in this one. Oh, I thought it might have been the Eevee. We'll take a Dratini, though. That's a really nice one. 53 in this set. Last sold $477 yesterday on PWCC. And the Rattata. Final card. We got a bunch of people saying there's a Charizard in here. All right, check this Charizard out. Oh, it's a Dark Weezing, but it is a hollow hit. Man, not the biggest hollow hitter, unfortunately, but we got a hollow hit out of one of your two packs here. The Dark Weezing, and it is a hollow. It's hard to tell, but you can also tell by the number at the bottom, number 14 in the set. Uh, dark Weezing, I wouldn't expect it to be like a massively expensive card. It's actually a lot easier to grade as well. Uh, but it went for $355 in a PSA 10. You can't beat it if you pull at least a hollow out of here. 140 in a 9. And there's 372 of them in a 10. So that's another reason. Another one is that it's not the most popular Pokemon. Um, the Dark Weezing. All right. A couple of whitenings on there. Might be looking at a 9 on this one. You got a lot of really good non hollows out of this booster box. So check this out. This is actually cool to see them all next to each other. But you did not, you didn't get the Eevee, but you got all three of the fully evolved, um, evolutions. And the Squirtle was sick. Squirtle's a big hitter. So check this out. It's actually pretty sick to see these all next to each other here. All right. Check that out. Dark Jolteon, Dark Vaporeon, and Dark Flareon. All right, chat. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. You can only pick one of them. I'll include Eevee as well. Hashtag Eevee. Hashtag Flareon. Hashtag Vaporeon. Hashtag Jolteon. Which of these do you choose? Let me know, chat. Let's see who gets the most votes. I wish it was like Twitch where you could actually have a, like a legit voting system. On Twitch, you could put it in. I could enter it in, and then you guys could actually put your votes in, and we can actually see like... The real-time statistics. YouTube, if you're listening, we need a voting system on YouTube streaming. Poke Cave needs it. All right, Ibrahim, thank you for jumping in on this. We're coming down to the end. I think we got like six. Somebody said, Bill, Bill, Bill. Two, four, yep, six more packs. And we have Troy up next. Troy S6319, and I know you're here in the chat as well, so best of luck to Troy Still looking for the Charizard. Secret Rare Raichu would be sick. Uh, a bunch of other big hitters. The Magneton would be nice. And the cool thing about the Evolutions is... It looks like it's kind of... E Actually, Jolteon, I feel like, is, is pulling ahead right now. It's really hard to tell. Somebody said Ghastly. <laughs> Alright, Troy. Best of luck. I think Jolteon might have won, actually. It's hard to say. <laughs> All right, Troy in the chat. Throwing the luck for Troy. Thank you for jumping in on this and for being patient. But we got your one pack here. Troy, 
Starting off strong with a Dark Golduck. Last sold in a 10 for over $300. And the Dark Jolteon. Yo, check out that smudge. Got another stamp smudge there, but this is another big hitter for your uncommon. The Dark Jolteon last sold in a PSA 10 for $330. $152 and a 9. And the Dark Kadabra, another big hitter. Number 39 in the set. Last sold for $103. $183 on PWCC in a 10. Psyduck is actually another really good one. And we completed the evolution line here. Uh, we got both the Psyduck and the Dark Golduck together. Got an Ekans, a Mankey, Machop, Dark Radicate, Slowpoke, Sorry, Poke Cave, Squirtle, yes, yes, less common in this um, pack here, the Squirtle. I think it's a little too off center left to right for a 10. Probably a little, just a little bit too off. Uh, so here we go. Dark slow bro, non hollow hits out of the one pack. The good news is you got a lot of really good non hollows as well, like the last few people. Uh, but a dark slow bro, the good thing is the rare non hollows have been looking really clean, centering wise and everything. Dark slow bro, number 29. Last sold for $113 in a PSA 10, 86 for a PSA 9. But you got the Squirtle to go with that as well. Um, and you actually got the another evolution line here. Slowpoke and Slowbro. Um, you also got some other big hitters. All your uncommons, I think, were all big hitters. Yeah. Because you had the Golduck. You had the Golduck and the Psyduck as well. Again, all the evolutions. Uh, you got the Kadabra. That's another big hitter. And you got the Dark Jolteon. Nice, Troy. It says they're all going to PSA. Good luck. Let me know how you do. All right, going in for Troy. I appreciate you jumping in on this opening. No hollow, but still had some really nice uncommons and commons in there like squirtle jolteon gold duck uh and let's oh 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 poke cave poke cave poke cave poke cave get ready for this one get ready for this one the next person up is the man himself you guys might have heard of him rhyme style in the house 63 20 we got the flame heating up as well for rhyme style we haven't pulled the Charizard yet. Can Rhyme do it? Can he do it? Throw in the good luck in the chat and the support for Rhyme Style. Of course, you can find Rhyme Style on YouTube, on Twitch, everywhere. The man is everywhere. He's a good friend of ours here in the Polka Cave, so I'm hoping you get the Dark Charizard. Or we'll take another dark, we'll take another dark dragonite. We'll take another one. It's rhyme time. We got all three right here. All three artworks on this pack for rhyme style. Do you see when I opened that up, the smoke just started coming out. All right, rhyme style. We're rooting for you here in the cave. We're going three from the back. Oh, nice way to start it off. The dark Dragonair. Uncommon. We haven't seen you in a while. Number 33 last sold for $200 in a PSA 10 just yesterday on PWCC, as well as a 9 and 137. Uh, just yesterday as well, which is actually pretty close in pricing. The 9 to 10 ratio is there. That's a beautiful artwork. The Dark Dragonite or Dragonair to start it off. And the Dark Charmeleon! Oh, man. This card just sold for $500 in a PSA 10 just yesterday on PWCC auctions. And that is 
Very well centered. You cannot stop pulling bangers. You cannot stop. I told you this pack was on fire. I can feel the heat. I can, feel, I can see the smoke. Next one is the boss's way. Giovanni himself. Number 73. Just sold for a little under $100 yesterday in a PSA 10. Okay. We got the slow poke. We got a Volts Orb. Still have not pulled the Dark Charizard Hollow, the Secret Rare Raichu. Squirtle! The man cannot stop pulling big hitters out of here. The Squirtle non Hollow. Definitely two off left to right, though, for the 10. Um, and I'm not sure what a 9 goes for. I can tell you that a 10 went for $440 yesterday. A 9's got to be up there, though. It's got to be way up there. Squirtle. Ponyta. Oh, man. Rat to ta 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 to ta 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 Eevee! Another big hitter! I think this one went for like 250-ish in a PSA 10. I think this one's also too off though for a 10. The left to right there. Thicker on the right side by a good amount. So a 9 I'd assume. Who knows? 50? 100? Just a guess. Is this it? Oh man, I think this is it. It's hard to tell if I'm on the last card. I can never tell. I think I am. But I might not be. But all right, let's get the Hollow Charizard for Rhyme Style. The Grimer, <laughs> see? Oh man, that happens like once in a while. It's hard to, it's hard, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, that was a troll. That wasn't on purpose though. All right, now let's see if we get the Hollow Charizard for Rhyme Style. Oh, we got a Hollow though. It is a Dark Hypno. I will take a Hollow all day. Obviously not one of the biggest hitters, but it is a hollow hit out of one pack for Ribe Style. Dude, we'll take it. Number nine, we'll take a hollow. We will take a hollow hit. Let's see how we're looking on this one. Last sold for $400 on PWCC in a 10 and about 209 So definitely not the biggest hitter, but hey, it's a hollow. We'll take a hollow hit. Dark Hypno, one pack. And there it is. Probably like a nine. A decent amount of these hollows have been coming out in nine condition because of a little bit of whitening on some of them as well as centering on some of them. But the hollows actually on a lot of them were actually looking really clean, like that rainbow uh, energy. But dude, that was a solid pack. That was a really good pack. Let's do a recap on your biggest hitters here. Um, Grimer, we had, I'll just show you guys all the, I'll show you all the big hitters when I can you see these up really quickly here. Uh, because really all these cards are worth getting graded up. I mean, you got a lot of good stuff for the non hollows So here would be... Here would be, I would say, like your top four. Top three. Top four. non hollow hits. The Dark Dragonair. The Dark Charm Million. Those are the first two right out the gate. You have the Squirtle and the Eevee as well. And then you got the Dark Hypno Hollow Hits. Not the Charizard, I know. But hey, we'll take the Hypno. Rhyme Style, thank you for jumping in on this opening. Some nice stuff in your pack, dude. All right. Oh, we still want to see if we can get a Charizard Hollow. We got the non-Hollow. We got the Blastoise Hollow. We got the Dark Dragonite Hollow. We got the Rainbow uh, Energy Hollow. So we got four more. It's the final four. Matthias N is 63-21. Got one pack. Let's see what we can do out of one pack for Matthias. Best of luck to you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dark Vaporeon, what a way to start off. We just keep getting the evolutions all of a sudden. Number 45 in this set. Again, last sold. 250 in a 10, 86 in a 9. Dark Machoke, haven't seen you in a while. Number 40 in this set and a Dark Rapidash. All nice hits though. Anything really that comes back at 10. Uh, we got a Goop Gas, a Meowth. There's our Grimer. Not the grimy version of the Grimer. An Oddish. Zubat, Charmander, nice hit! 
Actually, really good centering, too. The Charmander again. I think it was a $300 sale just yesterday in a PSA 10. Abra. Solid artwork. I love this artwork, too. And our final card. We got the Charmander. We'll skip right over Charmander and hit, hit the Charizard. Oh, secret rare dark right you hollow hit back to back one of the biggest hitters in this set we are getting all the big hits tonight dark right you let me tell you a little bit about dark right you it is a secret rare if you don't know what that means it is the first ever secret rare number 83 out of 82 so when, when something's a secret rare the first number is bigger than the last number because the full set is 82, but it's actually 83 when you include that secret rare in Arita artwork. It's got this insanely beautiful swirl right there. You guys see that? It's like a double swirl. Oh, man. What a card. The Dark Raichu. And on top of that, you guys probably want to know what this thing's worth. In a PSA 10 last sold a few weeks ago at PWCC for $3,000. And 9 for about $500. Man, two hollows back to back. It's got a little white uh, speck at the top of that corner. Man, the front is really clean. Let's check the hollow out. Man, look at that double swirl. Are you kidding me? That's crazy cool. That's like a tornado. I don't see any print lines again. Dang. We're not getting print lines on a lot of these. Dude. Ah. It's off left to right a little bit on the front. What do you guys think? It's like, okay, again, you you need at best 60-40 centering. Do you think this has a shot of 10? I don't know. I don't know. I think it might. What do you guys think? I think that's at least a nine a nine five Beckett though. I think that's at least a nine five Beckett. I mean the hollow is perfect. The centering is off a little bit, but I think it's still within the parameters on the front. Like yeah, the left side's a little bit thinner than the right. I think it's right. I think it's like spot on 60 uh 60 40. I'd say at least a nine five. At least a nine five Beckett. Dude. Matthias with the one pack magic as well. We got two hollows in a row. On top of that, you got the Charmander. I see a lot of people saying... I see mixed things. I see a lot of people saying a solid 9. A lot of people saying a 9.5. Some people saying maybe a shot um, at a 10. I don't know. That I, I, It's like on the border, I feel like. It's tough. It's a tough call. But I, I think at least a 9.5 Beckett, in my opinion. But what do I know? Alright. Polka Cave. We're coming down to the final three packs... We're pulling out all the big hitters again. We also got that Vaporeon out of here as well. The Dark Vaporeon. Another massive hitter. Uh, so, Polka Cave. I think the general consensus is most people are thinking at least a 9-5 with Beckett. We got all the big hitters tonight. Um, we did not get the Magneton. But, I mean, that card is so hard to pull in a PSA 10. I doubt even if we pull one that it would come out in 10 condition. It's like impossible. Close to impossible to get into 10. Uh, but the one other big hitter that we're looking for, besides the Blastoise that we got in Hollow, the Dragonite that we got in... Oh, actually got Blastoise in Hollow and non-Hollow. Dragonite we got in Hollow and non-Hollow. Uh, the Raichu Secret Rare we got. But we, we got the uh, Charizard, but we still want to see if we can get that in a Hollow. So can we get the Charizard? We only got three packs left. Poke Cave. Alexander G. 63-22, has two of the final three packs. Alexander, best of luck here. Last two packs, and let's go. Mankey, we'll get to you in a minute. Oh, man, our uncommon is beat. Look at that. I've never, I have not seen a card come out like that until this one. It's like, shred it. It looks like they cut it pretty bad. Um... But all right, it's a, we got a Dark Persian. Was it that card? No. Was it the Nightly Garbage Run? Yeah, it was the Nightly Garbage Run. Hmm. Okay. We got a Dark Primeape. Oh, the Mankey. Back to back again. 
We had that happen before. We got to sleep. A Magnemite. Coughing. Polka Cave, do not give up yet. We could still get the Charizard. We got like everything else under the sun in this set. All the big hitters we got. We even got all of them in non holo too. We just need that Charizard, that one holo Charizard to make this like a pretty perfect ratio of hits of pretty much all the biggest hitters. We got a Meowth, an Oddish, a Psyduck. A rare card is a Dark Hypno non holo hit. Third to last pack, non holo with the Hypno. Uh, we have pulled that in both non holo and holo version. But we're coming real close down to the end of this thing. We got two more packs remaining. You know, the code today is last pack magic. Again, if you guys didn't hear it for that giveaway, five more entries if you use that one. Uh, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that will hold true for this opening. And that final pack will have the Dark Charizard. All right, Alexander. Second pack, second to last, last pack for Alexander. Let's see if we get that last pack magic for Alexander. Come on, let's go. Three from the back on this one. Alexander going in with a dark muck. Got the challenge. Dark Electrode. Got an Ekans. An Abra. Slowpoke. Who drew the hot the hypno? Uh, so the last one on the non-holo was Alexander, but we did get a holo for rhyme style. We got a Machop. Charmander non-holo. Nice hit. And on top of that, beautifully centered as well. This one last went for $300 in a PSA 10 yesterday on PWCC. We got the Voltorb. We got the Mankey. Dark Machamp hollow hit last back magic as well for Alexander G. And this one looks really good. Dang. Centering's really clean on this one. Back's pretty clean. There's a little bit of, of a white speck on that corner. A tiny one on there. Dark Machamp hollow hits. Last back magic Poke Cave for Alexander. Um, this one is number 10 in the set. Number 10 last sold for $430 in a 10 and just under 200 About $175 ish in a 9. Not the biggest hitter, but it is a hollow. One for two out of your packs, Alexander, with that last pack magic. But I want to see if we can get very, very last pack magic, Poke Cave. Because we got one more person up. You also had that Charmander. One for two, better than the odds. No double ups on the hollows either, says David. Yeah, we haven't doubled up on a single hollow. Which means... Maybe there's a dark Charizard hollow in that last pack. Maybe. Hopefully. And guys, if you stayed this long, why not stay until the very end? Until even after that last pack is open. Because I'm going to show you what we're opening up next Tuesday in the Poke Cave. And once I show it on screen, it becomes available on the PokeCave.com immediately. So if you're interested in jumping in on that one, you have a shot at grabbing a pack. And Tuesdays are always the vintage openings. All right. Our final person is Steven B. 6323. You got one single pack remaining. It's got all pack artworks. That's it. We're on empty right now. We're on E. We're rolling on E, but we're hoping that the very last pack with the very last card of this entire opening of this booster box has the Dark Charizard Hollow. So I need every single person, all 7,000 of you, 7,000 of you that are still here hanging with us in the cave to throw in the fire. I want to see a wall of fire in that chat. No words, just the fire emojis. That is it. Let's go. Steven B. We've done last pack Charizards before. It's not impossible. Let's see if we could do it this time, though. We're going three from the back. 
Start off with a Gloom. A Dark Gloom Uncommon. We got a Dark Jolteon, a big hitter, number 38 in the set. Again, this one just sold for $330 in a 10, $150 in a 9 just the other day. The Dark Primate. There it is. There's the Firewall. We got a Coughing. A Drowsy. I'm going to lose my mind if we do this. We got an Eevee, another big hitter, about $250 in a 10. We got a Meowth. That's right. Goop Gas. Grimer. I think this is it. I don't know. Is this it? I think, yeah. I think this is it. All right. We already had one of the top 10 moments in the cave today. If you guys missed it, by the way. The God Pack. Way earlier in the opening. Within the first 30 minutes, I believe. That was a top 10 for sure moment in the cave. Maybe we can get another top 10 moment right here. It's not after, it's after this one. Man, I always do that on this set. On this set for some reason. Last pack Magic Charizard! Oh, and it is a Dark Alakazam. Non-hollow. The only big hitter we were missing tonight was that Dark Charizard in hollow. We got it in a non-hollow worth... $2,000 to $2,500 in the non-hollow version. We got the Dark Blastoise in both hollow and non-hollow versions a couple of times. We also got that Dark Dragonite hollow in hollow and non-hollow versions. The Secret Rare Raichu. We got so many big hitters. The only one we were missing, though, was that Dark Charizard in the hollow form. But, guys, I would say that was a really good box, even without the Charizard hollow version. But... Now that you guys waited till the very end of this opening, I am going to announce next Tuesday's opening. And it is going to be something really awesome that we're going to be opening up here in the Poga Cave. An old school set. A super old school set. Um, and we're going to jump into that. I'm going to show you on the screen here in one second. As soon as it goes up on the screen, just head over to thepogacave.com. As soon as you see it on the screen, it'll be available. The second I show it, the timing is like perfect. As soon as I show it on the screen, um, it'll be up on the Polka Cave. Dot com. I thank you all for hanging out here during this opening. If you're not subscribed again, hit the subscribe button. You're going to want to stick around. We got a ton of stuff going on in the cave all the time. But it's going down on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we're opening up. And it's going to be a first edition Neo Discovery Booster Box. There's like a little bit of a rip on here. Uh, but hey, we're opening up anyway. So a first edition Neo Discovery Booster Box. Umbreon, Espeon, there's so many massive hitters in this set from the Neo era. And it is the first edition stamped booster box getting opened up here in the cave on Tuesday. Available right now at thepokecave.com. But besides that, make sure you come back here. We're going to start the members opening um, either tomorrow or the next day. And it is going to be Team Up, Hidden Fates. And Burning Shadows opening thousands and thousands of these booster packs. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, daily content coming as always. And on Sunday. Diamond and Pearl Stormfront getting opened up. Secret Rare Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon, Level X Guards, Shinies. All kinds of awesome stuff going down in the Poke Cave all the time. Thank you guys so much for the support. For hanging out here during this opening. And as always, hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.